and we are live, awakened, grand and screaming. Back for another stream at the Elvoid Factory. <laughs> Alrighty, um, okay, I need to open the stream up on my phone so I can look at everyone going, haha, it's me. Um... Frog, indeed. Sorry, ads. Frog, sup? Frog. Frog? Frog, indeed. Garmin. Alright, let's turn all the audio off on my phone. And yeah, happy Frog Friday. Ah, oh, it's, it, it's Dove off. Cool. Big... Oh yeah, we're all big frog fans in this in this thing. Um oh, I didn't write a description. Thought I did. Anyway, uh let's let, let's give it a little share. Very frogalicious moment. Indeed, indeed, my my guys. Frogs are cool, but mountains aren't? <laughs> That's a pretty deep cut reference for you there. Um Oh. Sorry, I'm reading stuff. Yeah, it's me, the Delta and me man. Back at it again with another thing. Oh boy. Um So yeah, I just found out, like, uh, cause I scroll through the um I scroll through the Delta and meme uh, not the Delta and meme subreddit, the Delta Rune subreddit, just r slash Delta Rune, and I found out that um yeah, uh, like, user Mercury Madness apparently, um, apparently created, uh, like, you know, a yellow, like the, like, that one B movie joke where it's like, uh, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, ooh, black and yellow, yeah, let's, let's kick it up a little. Um, like, uh, like that for Chris, and they're going, uh, yellow, green, yellow, green, ooh, green, yellow, yellow, shake it up a little. And, um, apparently someone else um recreated that uh didn't really credit the original person and then i used uh that like recreation for one of my meme videos which honestly yeah that sucks like anyway um <laughs> Alright, um, so yeah. I didn't know you streamed? Yeah, I stream whenever I want. Uh, usually after I make a big video, like my Delta meme videos. Uh, this mod is basically the embodiment of a meme, but there's also hor severe horrifying trauma. Trauma? Trauma? Uh, yeah, so I, so I don't know what any of the Ribbit mod is. I know of it, I don't know what's in it. So, ah, uh, we're in, we're in for a treat. Well, I'm in for a treat, you're in for something else. I don't know. Maybe also a treat, but maybe just, um, maybe a lemon. You're in for a lemon. Oh yeah, yeah, the, I, I did, I did see that there was an update on the 25th, uh, as I was scrolling through the Game Jolt page. Um, and I might do another stream soon if, if everyone wants to see me play, um, the 2.0 version, but I'm streaming it now, so, yeah. Um, will there be blood? Shed? I don't know, but the man in the mirror nodded his head, so I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure we'll be in for something. Uh, yeah, we're in for something now. Alright, um... Okay, so let's, uh, let's turn off my image, and let's get started, because why not? Um, ooh, okay, so yeah, this is a warning for everyone. 
Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna turn off the accessibility options. Because I'm so accessible. And we're gonna be using the alternative soundtrack thing. Um... So yeah, hopefully that goes well. One contains story themes of depressions and instances of swearing. But don't worry, swearing makes you look really cool, so it's okay. <laughs> the only reason why I recognize this theme is because it was used by, like, um, Michael Lowari uh, for some of his, uh, bad creepypasta videos. Anyway. Alright, let's get started. Don't get- don't forget to choose free. Oh, it's fucking Blue Lagoon. This is you. Hello there, you. How you doing? <laughs> Let's roll. Unlike Deltarune, this is a product of far higher quality. To play it, first, let's take care of some prerequisites. I'm gonna turn down the audio on my end. Punch in your mom's credit card number, first digit. Seven. Oatmeal? Seven again. Yeah, sure. Nice. In this world, credit card numbers are encrypted into three-digit codes. I can steal your mom's money from here. In the meanwhile, mind answering some questions? What is your favorite food? Sheriff Woody action figure. Buzz Lightyear action figure, Mr. Potato Head action figure, uh, Slinky Dog action figure, Rex action figure, all of the above. I'm gonna go all of the above. What, where the fuck do you eat Toy Story action figures? Why is this the only modified choice? The game didn't allow me to mod the rest. What's your excuse? I don't eat action figures. What is actually wrong with you? You know, when I watched the trailer for this mod, I really didn't think the caliber of humor I'd be soaking through into three minutes here, but well, here we are. What if they were a lie? <laughs> uh. Alright. Oh shit, I think I locked you out of your mom's bank account. <laughs> Great! Genuine. Is this okay? No, none of this is okay. Question. Answer. Moving onwards. Name this goober. Uh, we're gonna call him. Ah, uh, what should we name the goober? You know, we'll call him Goober. That's it. That's it. There gotta be something cool for that. Calling them Goober. Oh, you got Stardew Valley recently, and I'm unhealthily obsessed with Sebastian. Neat. And oh yeah, there's a lot of stream delay, and I'm not going to fix it. Correct, except Goober. The player's name, please. Should we? You are also a Goober. Should we also be Goober? Ooh, L Junior. Okay, I don't want to- I don't want them both to be Goober. Although I'd like them to be 
Uh, call it Wiener. Oh, ah, oh, that's it. Yeah, we'll call we'll call ourselves Wiener. Uh, where's ah? Oh, there it is. We are Wiener. Wiener. Oh, sorry. Give me a second. Bodacious. Truly bodacious. Wiener. We are done here. No, really. We're done. It's time to wake up. Actually, wait, I'm not ready. Okay, no, now I'm ready. Yeah, hold on, my shoe's untied. Wait, I said my shoe's on- Hey, you. Nuff nap time. Others are pe- Others are paying to use this room, you know? <laughs> Speaking of payment, meet me outside. We'll sort it all out. <laughs> she just breaks the room. <laughs> okay. Sense just destruction. But you prefer sense more... But you prefer sense more destruction. <laughs> Convenient artwork of frogs and such. They help soothe your tired, slimy muscles. Convenient artwork of- oh wait. No, three hours of sleep was enough for today. Any longer than that and you'd be accused of having a healthy and responsible sleep schedule. Yum, delicious mayo, ready to lick straight off the carpet. <laughs> it's symbolism. Probably incredibly unfitting in this AU of an AU. Wait, is this an AU? The drawer is mostly empty, except for... Wait, forget the drawer. Isn't that... Suyu up there? Dang. There was a time when you truly aspired to be a guest star on that show. However, negotiations broke down after your design was noted as not entirely infringement proof. <laughs> Why is there just a chunk missing out of this bed? Well, it seems you've been sleepwalking and sleep biting yet again. Whoever's gonna use that bed next, you hope they don't roll over to their left. I love how the carpet is just space invaders. They shut down Club Penguin years ago. There's no reason to use this thing. Uh, this mod's already great. I'm loving it. It's a cactus with a cute pink filter. What a sexy beast. They call this painting Big Legs Man. There's a hole in the ceiling to make it fit. <laughs> it's you with a cute pink filter. It doesn't really help at all. It's a door with a standard <laughs> procedure chains. Tory Hill mentioned once that guests staying here often inquire about wanting a refund. This room is expressly designed to keep them locked in before they can get one. <laughs> Oh, dear, the mouth does move. All the kids are going ribbit. Hello? I think these are for the guests, but you've never confirmed it with Toriel. Well, she's not here. Let's have a peek. This one's titled, How to Take Care of Frogger Likes. Is she intending to adopt you or something? God, if only. Holy crap! That's a reference I don't get. Let's go to the bathroom. What the fuck? Sands? Oh look, we found bootleg sands. That's nice. Okay, so I really wanted this room to have a creepy dungeon vibe, but instead I've spent 40 minutes just practicing drawing this chair. This room is now known as MS Paint Chair Room. <laughs> cool. This fridge is on the run from the cops. Toriel's letting it stay here, it seems. 
Using the sink stimulates the creeping up that creepy oven. You deny it the pleasure. You never had much love for this sentient half oven. It always licks the pies. A list of Toriel's paying customers. No, Jimmy, it's not loss. An open trash can, the one and lonely. It's just right. It's just the just the right fit for you. A phone with twenty four keys, forty of fourteen of them being highly redundant. Redundant, redundant. Oh, that's great. Big Mother is watching me. This happens every single time. It's not your TV. And besides, no one's airing Pingu these days. Why not? I don't know. The chair... The chair of the wealthy and the powerful. Ooh, let's get this book. It's a kind of novel. Weird title. Maybe someday else. Alright, let's leave. Ten thousand dollars a- <laughs> You, listen up, it's time for us to have a little talk. Look, I've been trying to be as nice as possible about this. But it's been a month. You can't keep using my inn for free. Now don't give me those eyes. I found this other place. A special home that you can remain in for as long as you'd like. Just wondering, but how how many times do you get us um, when the next Delta? Oh, we're going to the orphanage. Um, the answer is a bunch, but luck. <laughs> the answer is a bunch, not like in person, but in like comment sections of other videos. Um, but. Uh, the next one is going to be relatively soon when compared to the other one, so that's... that's good. Interact with everything twice. Ah! Oh, okay, shit, I gotta do that. Uh, and that's why Ribbit is not really the name of this. <laughs> oh my god, it's a new kid! Fuck yeah. Uh, so hi, my name is Alphys. Welcome to the orphanage! Oh, am I the owner? Um, well, no. I, I, I've been waiting 15 years to be adopted. So, uh, yeah, good luck. Oh, that's trippy. If I'm Monster Kid, you must be New Kid, right? <laughs> nice. So, hey, how you doing? Oh, my God, you're... Your face! Your your So would you say you're a real frog or is that facial surgery gone awry? Oh come on, I'm Joshin. I mean, there's no way you could really be a frog, but Wait, that's Sonic the Hedgehog down there. Are you a dad? <laughs> Oh wait, um, Ribbit, when you're a frog, it's best not to listen to Mark Twain's advice. Uh, that's just like in the, in, uh. Yo, it's Sonic and the- Are you my dad? Are you? Are you? Psst, I can see you ain't giddy about being here. It- I got some tip, if you don't mind the trek. North of here, there's a little place called Snowden Town. My ma's got an inn set up there. It's got a pay-what-you-want ideology going on. Don't want to pay it all? No problemo. They don't care. They haven't eaten. 
eat my teeth day holiday. They don't give a shit. <laughs> Wait, let's see if... Oh yeah, his face is fine. That's a shame. Is it a radiator? Introducing the... Introducing the new FAFT's state of the fart. <laughs> Toaster Coast 2000 computer model. You can use this to print out all your important documents on a delicious piece of toast. I gotta get me one of those. Piranha plant. He's so cute. I want to stick a finger in his mouth and take the chance. <laughs> Don't talk to Sonic and make everyone mad. I'll talk to Sonic. Uh, what's the matter, little fella? Cat got your tongue? Can't speak? Because you're a frog and frogs can't speak? And, be and I can speak, but you can't? You spoke. Yowza! Tap, tap. You do not interrupt me when I'm playing Beepress. Oh, her eyes go funky. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa ho! Hey kids, it's me, Sonic the Hedgehog. Back to schoolhouse! My parents think I'm a failure. Yikes! I never got my college degree! Now I'll show them! Mom, Dad, Uncle Ben, time to do elementary again! Whoa! Whoa! What do you mean this isn't a school? Diggity dang! My bad, bro boo! I didn't read the sign outside! <laughs> but who's got the time to read? I don't, and uh, can't! There's a bunch of notes here dating back to Christmas Eve. Ho ho ho, it's the 24th, ho ho. No one cares, bird, but I care, Santa. Birdly, you scared away Santa, now he won't give a shit, you are a fucking idiot! Uh, so your name is Yu? Is that like, Chinese? Korean, maybe? Oh, it spells uh, U-Y-O-U. Sorry, I'm a dumb poo-poo idiot. <laughs> you? That name must confuse a lot of people, huh? Same goes for mine. I mean, nobody has any clue on how to correctly pronounce it. Alphys, Alphys, Alfonso? Oh wait, what? Oh, you wanna see the thing again? Okay, yeah, sure. Yowza. Season to be jolly, fa la 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 la, fa la la la. Oh, looks like you're not a fan of that song. That's a shame. It seems that everyone here has a distaste for Christmas carols lately. But how do we know Christmas is even here without a Christmas tune? What? Well, yes, I know it's the middle of autumn, but come on. There must be a carol you like, right? Maybe. Maybe makes sense. You've never gave it much thought, right? Not to worry, that's what I'm here for. My name's Noel, your local guide to obtaining carol appreciation. I thought that was like obliterating carol appreciation. Anyway. Across the vast library of carols, there must be one catered for you. And from here on out, it's up to me to find that carol. <laughs> Might take me an hour or two though. So, have faith. Soon you'll be listening. Soon you'll be. Soon you'll too will be listening to fa la 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 la. Door open. <laughs> Susie, what's up? <laughs> Hello. I sent fire to the ox. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. Wait. You didn't actually set fire to anything, did you? <laughs> the oxygen. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just gonna be laughing at all the jokes. That's probably fine then. Uh, what, what? Ah, 
never mind. So, what brings you here, Susie? It's kind of a surprise, actually, seeing you here. You rarely visit. Sitting alone in a separate room stopped being so much fun, Alphys. Anyway, that frog, is that the new kid? Is that the new- is that the Q-nid? Yep! You're coming with me. I mean, can it wait? We're about to play cards and... I don't even know what cards are, and frankly, I don't care. Hmm? New kid, come on, place to be. First talks to have, am I right? Door, close! <laughs> Ew. Okay then. Okay then. <laughs> I love that Susie just commands the door to open. Good. Like I said, you... Like I said, you, I might take a while. You ought to get on that first talk with Susie over with, I think. Don't worry, we've all went through it. Just rapidly nod your head. Uh, it appears that Susie has taken an interest in you. Uh, Yowza! Uh, That's my bite side, Yowza. For the little babies. Tries to inhale you like Kirby. <laughs> whoa, whoa, Susie! Who, who the what L? Alpha's, what the who now? Kid, I ain't got time for your anime bullshit. I'm Sonic! Man, I don't even know. Can't be bothered. I only ever talked once to Susie, and that time is enough to do me part. Like, I break the ice with, fun with one of my famous puns, all suave and chill. And then she <laughs> reacts to my... <laughs> Then she reacts by vomiting dino eggs while gar gurgling out, You are not the protagonist, peon! I ate many re regurgitated dino eggs that day. A day to remember. The 3rd of Eggvember. Beep! Two Timions need a dadisms! The marketable. The marketable. The marketable. Because Alphys is always around here, Susie rarely shows up to chat. I don't really get it. They're both kind of weird at times, but I wouldn't consider them bad dudettes, you know? Either way, a spats between them is constant, certainly not sandwiched between me. You, Susie's kind of unpredictable, you know? Be careful. Oh, and um, I know we've just met, but can I ask you for a favor? I seem to have, um... Lost a very life-threatening device. Don't ask what it does, or why I have it. Or, in this case, why I don't have it. Look, if you happen to find anything dangerous lying around, bring it back to me as soon as possible. I'll fill you in then. Ooh, the clock. The current time is okay. Yeah, that seems about right. I hope Waluigi appears. Yes, yeah, same here, just a rando. Chalk. The floor stopped moving. We've been waiting a whole week for your arrival, frog. At least, I believe it is you I've been camping for. Well, you're the quiet type. I know what that's like. You have an alternate ways of talk- you have alternate ways of talking. And not via sign language or anything so practical. I believe you talk through more unique means, as in, more... Clairvoyant-like, you know? Yeah. 
You was blushing. What an absolute moron! Protag or not, you are definitely not the correct one. The real Protag would have talked to talked twice to N every NPC. The true Protag would have talked to them again after I left that room. And what about the secret tutor in tutorials in? Ever found that? You're saying, you're saying you did? Well, I'm not buying that. <laughs> you're lazy, lazy, you lazy, lazy protag. Think this is a speed run? Well, guess what? This mod has rewritten every single line of dialogue. That's right, all of uh, it, even all the optional interactions. So much time spent, so much sweat, blood, and tears. All to get ignored just like that? No, no, I don't think so. Here's my humble request, fellow protag. Please, explore, be faro, talk to NPCs twice for bonus dialogue. Do it for the children, or maybe... <laughs> maybe just do it for your own sake. Hi, I'm Susie. Oh, was I too on the nose? I'm sorry, Frank. Mary. Excuse me, Protag. The crew off-camera is talking to me. Mumble, mumble. Yes, my beloveds. I do think this is a protagonist. But there are several da several of them out there. Why choose this one? I shouldn't be so picky, but this one doesn't even want to be here. And now they wonder if they can leave. Fine. Begrudgingly, one chance is all they get to show the stuff. Protag, I apologize for my behavior. It wasn't very nice. But don't you see? This is the clairvoyance I was talking about. A key to conversation with the deceased. Now, let's find your key. What? Sand Hanitizer? You try to open the locker. Nothing. You try slamming into the locker with all possible force. Force does nothing. If someone like me could find a mom, you can't be far behind. Stay determined, Susie. You try mashing the Z button to build up your energy for a super plasma kick in order to- nope. You try sacrificing the locker's door to the sacred gods. They do not respond. You try giving up. Hey, that worked! You try giving up. These papers look decades old. Weird that nobody opted to take them down since. You can barely read out the words. Hopes Academy. So this place used to be a school after all. Also what Also what kind of snob names their kid Hope? It's a nice warm baguette just glued on here. Mmm, smells good. And also like chalk? That's mine. Leave it for now. Baguettes baguettes wait patiently. Um, not there. That's the Susie room. That's right, Frogus. They desi they designated a whole room just for me. Aren't I special? I'm not. It's a public bath. <laughs> I don't recommend going into the Susie room if your name is not Susie. <laughs> Sense the hand sanitizer. Sorry, I'm just reading the chat right now. Uh, I didn't know he was doing the voices. I'm always doing the voices. Hello, I'm Susie. I see you are talking to me. Since you've recovered from the locker slam, let's try this again. You're a complete blank, unremarkable and lacking in psychicism. There's a haunted point ahead of us that might turn this around. Mm -hmm. 
This is a haunted point, supposedly one of many around here. Fingers crossed, be being nearby, it could help awaken this and that. Oh, um, I might have just misjudged on our Y's and X's. So, turns out, we're not nearby the haunted point. Based on the haunting's magnitude, we're smack dab in the center of it. What? <laughs> just so you know, this might mean we're both about to die at death. Could be nice, though. What if we were both to become a part of the haunt? <coughs> well, I don't know about you, but I'm facing my death like a proper. <coughs> the doors are open. Thanks for the taser, Alphys. Good morning. I'd like to state up front, there is no escape. That's not to say I forced you into a bad place. It's just that you were trying to run into an even worse place. So, I had to take slight drastic measures to prevent that. <coughs> if you'd rather not hear my excuses, that's fine too. Just stay quiet and let me see if I can get their attention. Hello? Susie here. Not sure if you can hear us, but if you can... Me and this frog thing are ready to begin our ascension to ghosthood. <laughs> ascension? Dissension, maybe? Is anyone there? You'd rather die alone than with somebody by your side? Protag, holler if you see anything. How about you, Mary? I know they're all around us, yet... What? No, I'm not doing that! Shush. Oh, that wasn't you? Sorry. When I talk to myself, it's hard to figure out if it's really my voice. Protag? Everyone's yelling in my ear. Don't give me that look, I know you can hear them too. Still, why are they even yelling in the first place? This may be one of those private haunted points for high class only. To be honest, I find that kind of exclusively kind of... Ah, sorry. To be honest, I find that kind of exclusivity highly disgusting. It's like a boys-only club at some niche elementary school. Well, if they don't want us, guess we'll have to live another day. Come on! Um, Susie? <clears throat> oh, great, the door's open. Oh, it's a bit too open. Um... Um... I guess I'm dead? I don't know. Might be alive. Uh... <coughs> I'm just gonna read the chat. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in the Orple world? The door has entered full screen. Oh, I'm going to Brazil! Fuck! Oh, there it is. Oh. Oh, we're going a little less full screen right now. Dorset anime girl transformations? Have you tried not dying? Ohio? Reb world, just walk left. Is this a... Okay. I can see. Oh, that's... that's... The squares are real big. <laughs> uh huh. 
Um, the go the doors go to mini player. Bacon land, Detroit. Gamer RGB. Okay, we're going to Australia. The moon. Oh no, moons don't do that. What? We're in the land down under! Moom. Um, oh, should we be Delta or should we be default? Eh, you know what? I kind of want to get through this. Let's just do Delta. <laughs> oh. Alright, wait, let's... A gift from Toriel. Pretty sure it's from 19-2, but you know, as long as it makes calls... You tried to call 9... <laughs> The signal is jammed. Somebody here does not get a, appear to approve of phones. Slime blade. Technically just a regular blade. Turn, turn to gooey madness once you touched it. Placebos? Alright, power. Level 1 endangered frog. Highly precious goof. Can't head- can headstand. Ah, oh, I got that wrong. So let's uh, turn auto run on and oh oh now I can full screen okay give me a second um give me a hot second uh, everyone all right you know what? I'll just turn on the other display capture and yeah that's full screen now all right actually who made this shit? Oh, cool. Alright, we Gucci. Oh, hello. Holy mackerel! As I don't live and breathe! As I don't live and don't breathe! Is that you, my grandchild? Haha! <laughs> Never thought I'd talk to you again, seeing as I've gone incorporeal. Wanna save? Grandfather's chair. There we go. Oh, it's fucked up and strange. A marking. Either left behind by your ancestors, or those damned kids with their graffiti. Oh, dip. Marking. Oh, yeah. Frog boating. You pick up the scent of something vintage inside. Stick your whole arm in there and never let go. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, I got the purse card. Check your items for more info. A rare purse card from El Paso, Texas. Texas. Is that the one place with the cowboys? Ooh. Ooh, our U is fucked up. Press A, I dare you. <gasps> yeah! Frog power activate! Anyway, let's keep moving. What? Oh, I died. Finally croaked? 
What will you do from here? Come back soon. Oh, I feel like this is gonna be an issue. Fuck. Uh, Ribbit is gone. Alright, let's, let's... Okay, okay. Okay, we're good. We're Gucci. The frog lives. Incredible. Wait, can they hear me? What a stare. Yes, I know. I am dead. Eleven years of hopping only to be Kaizo'd. <laughs> Your grandpa had to go at me for days before reminding me before being reminded he died on the second screen. Based on performance in prior room, we are adjusting puzzle difficulty to baby mode. Can I go back? Oh yeah, I can. Oh, it's already been solved. I guess that's what baby mode gives you. This music is bopping. I uh, like. Anyone know what this song is from? Dealer, prepare to suffer my wrath and also this axe! Oh, I'm dead now. Oh, neat, I'm not dead. Ribbit is gone. What? 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 Secret frog. You've startled me so much, I nearly killed you! Your eyes are glowing, huh? So I was right. You have... The gift. Oh, fucking sands! <laughs> Quick! Run while he's figuring out what the buttons to shoot! Wait, what's that? Oh, good. Oh, no, that's a lot of arrows. Fucking missiles? <laughs> Good job. Hot pump and non-stop electrifying action! Oh, fuck, that's a lot of them. Oh, I got hit once. That was easy. <laughs> Amount of HP remaining, 85. Amount of HP required for reward, 60. Good job. <laughs> Congrats, dingus. The chest is yours. It's a defibrillator. You never felt so rewarded before. Adrenaline courses through you. Your defense has permanently been gone up by one. Wait, where's my postcard? Not to be confused with diff... <laughs> where's my postcard? Alright, um, everyone give me one second. I need to just grab some water because my throat is parched from doing all those funny little voices. probably here, I don't live in a very large room. I love this jazz. You like jazz? It's all right. Oh, it's got sounds. I'd like to say we're safe here, but 
I'd just be lying. Um, right, the eyes. Congratulations! Blue suits you. With those eyes, you can talk to ghosts. Pretty exciting, right? Well, not to disconcern, but you'll find it very annoying very fast. Alright. It's a house, and another, and another. Personally, we like the one made out of sticks. Can the shitting bug stop crawling around my monitor? I'm trying to write. <laughs> oh, it's the free little pig's houses. Hi, frog. You're talking to auntie now, yes? How th how that grandpa doing? Good? Yes? Please sorry for bad language. I from America, yes? Native language there is Boston. <laughs> Please use my dead power to perform the action of save game. Yes, thank you. Goodbye. This is not the way out. Rather, it appears to be a dead end. People are so hateful towards dead ends. We should appreciate them. Greetings, glowy duo. Who's rolling their R's? I'll kill you brutally, like a mallet to an egg! I am... What the... I can roll my eyes as... too? <laughs> Alright, that's it. Um... Anyway, uh... <laughs> Sorry, there was a spammer in chat someone made me aware of. Yes, well, hello. Don't kill me. I wouldn't recommend it. For you see, it was me who summoned your pairs of eyes down here. And it is me who will explain why the heck I would ever do that. I know, um, I know about you a lot, and much like the phenomenon of ghost links... I bet a fiver that I know way more than... <gasps> Who wants to hear some crazy talk about ghosts? Raise your hand! Raise hand. Great! Come over here. Look at these. I brought visual aids. I'm gonna take a little sip. Ghosts are rather a common sight in these parts. They roam amongst us but can't be understood. They talk in gibberish, and we think... Why does it work like that? <laughs> because people like me have no link to the ethereal. Just because it's not a reason enough to be connected. We require a special ghost link, which none of us have. Except the two of you, I can see it in your eyes. The gift. The required link to communicate with ghosts. But only ghosts from your own bloodline. We can speculate all day why such a rule exists. Well, I guess that's where just because actually applies. Either way, I called you here to destroy two special ghosts. Which you may very well be acquainted with. One's a frog, the other's a Susie spe species. Both are your respective mothers. And they morphed into one united abomination. They now rule over our lands, our crops, my goddamn villa, insisting, instilling fear, dominating the world with their creepy spawns. Hope has been lost until I discovered the two of you you see, you see where I'm going with this, right? Your gift makes you the only two capable of the ghost link. With the ghost link, all five senses connect with, to your family. Only you can stop your mothers. Only you can feel them, hear them. And whereas the rest of us can't even get a scratch in, only you can kill them. What? <laughs> and that's all he wrote. 
He being my father, who rese whose research we've learned much from. You could say we're regular es experts on the paranormal. And with that knowledge, plus your abilities, we can unite forces to take down those ghastly dinkuses. So who's with me? Susie's about to say a sentence. Uh, go ahead. I'm not with you. And this whole thing doesn't sound like our business. Your mother is destroying us and you don't care? Let her. She's just one bad guy out of many in this world. And if she won't conquer your waste of space land, someone else will. I'm not interested in, in a temporary victory or a memory of one. Infinite consequences, on the other hand. We can find it by ourselves, and without doing your chores, Mom. Go away. Huh? <laughs> oh no. Ahem, excuse me. Sup, guys. This is ra this radar rules. It picks you up your glow in two seconds flat. He's small. Got something to say? Oh, sorry, that was just a plain aggressive. Tell you what, we don't need to bring up my height insecurities. I may, I may have a tiny head, but it's packed with big plans. So anybody got a guess about what, about a demand at, get at, at what? What is Susie for three hundred dollars? Ha! Huh, don't get cocky. Just because you know how to hurt my feelings. And while you're at it, hand over the frog. No need to go into detail, but that there's some special bitch. And you're just gonna march him over to the salty release of death? Uh, them? With their zero combat experiences and peed pair of pants? There's better uses for the last remaining frog in the world. Now get your ass over here. Their ass is not yours, forget about it. Tisk tisk, New Yorker, choosing the hard way, are we? Hard? Really? This won't... This won't even scratch the definition of easy. Lancer's here to make some demands. Uh, let's check. Lancer. At cool, attack cool, de de six pack abs and a free, uh, and at least free memorized swear words. Sorry, I'm not getting the words right. Old enough to ride a motorcycle, so he's ready to set you on fire. Vroom, taste the engine. Boys and their bikes, I wonder how they value it. Loot losses per swing. Tell Lancer to quit being an idiot. He makes finger guns at you and goes, "Hey!" Whoops. My bike's got plenty of fuel. Do you? Whoop. Oh, piss. Lancer's banging his head like a woodpecker. Oh. Give up. The frog is coming with me. Oh, I ran right into that one. You begged for mercy, you coop. Huh? That's it? You sucking up skills are, are getting rusty. Man, I thought frogs had some spine. <laughs> ah, this is such bullshit. Fine, your sass has won this time. But know this, frog, you are not safe. You won't bark on that silly ghost hunting quest. You're dead. Join me and I'll make your dreams come true. Consider it. I'm off to shoot birds for fun. You won, you got zero XP and a hundred and sixteen dollars? Woo! I... I apologize for that racket. Lance has been a nuisance for a while, but never before was he so blunt. Hey! I might tag along if you show your face and name first. Alright, that I can do.
you can call me Prince Nuyu, or Prince for short. What would your moniker be? You, huh? That's quite the poetic name. I thought their name was Protag. And I thought mine was Rousey, but life said no. Never mind, I'm out. Follow me, or follow the prince, you. Your choice. Uh, Is she your friend? Uh, You're not sure? Okay. Because, oh my god, what is her problem? Where's the common sense in her? Logic dictates we stick together. I haven't waited on you weeks on end just to be treated, so... Right, well, guess we'll make do with the, just the two of us. But first, here's some rules. Rule one, do what she did right now and I'll fuck you up. That's it for the rules. We're like, get added per every act of rebellion. Now then, onwards. Surely we can best the mother's rage. Together, hopefully. This magical gate more or less prevents us from entering the castle. Though I hear if you play those co those notes on an ocarina, the gate opens. Lack of ocarina aside, I never learned how to read sheet music. <laughs> Alright, let's save. Clam Chowder! That's the only term I know. <laughs> We're on an adv- Oh crap, I forgot to remove that. Um, so, that's... Yeah. That's a thing. Wanna practice on him? Sure! Wait, I was joking, you seriously don't actually do it! So about this guy, um, basically he killed my whole family? Except my uncle. Well, that's cause my uncle's a dick. And he was, in fact, cahoots in cahoots with this guy. But that's a story for another time. Point is, this guy's a dick too. So, let's use him for practice. Sadly, he died a while ago, so we can't hear him scream. First off, let's go over dodging. Let's pretend this heart is my family, you! Now do a better job at protecting him than I did! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Dude! If that was really my family, you'd be the one hung by a pole! <laughs> Alright, now let's get our hands dirty. You ever smack someone? You know, when they mouth off thinking that they're all above you? <laughs> I do that literally to everyone I never meet. But have you ever done it with a sword? Right, frog. Fight for my amusement. Opposing king. Eh? Yeah, I guess that's serviceable. I'd advise doing more damage. By pressing Z when the cursor enters the box on the left. Man, you should have been here when I tortured this dumb king. He was all like, Ah! Stop dealing one point of damage per each hit! Sweet revenge. I don't know if dad would have been proud, but I sure am. Okay, what do you want to try next? What else could you possibly learn? <laughs> what in the living shit are you doing? He's dead! He, he can't hurt you! I did him in with my own two! Wait, the TP went up. Is that how that works? By defending? Okay, well I guess we both learned something today. Magic time, preferably something cooler than a country. Exercise? Let's just say he's... You know, Nonyo. Noino cast exercise. With that spell, we can send the mother spawns right over to Jesus. But wait! There's more! For a limited time only! Ever acted before? You don't look like the type to take charge of life. Now's the time! Let's practice the action of acting! The- oh, actually, I don't know what exact-
Ooh, we can steal scarf. <laughs> you desperately chug at Nino's stuff, a hungry, a hungry look in your eyes. Uh, what? No! How about that? No! Honestly, it's not like you could take it off anyways. I've had my servants <laughs> nails into my neck. <laughs> that way, not even I can take it off. What a brilliant idea, huh? Uh, let's check. Let's check. Opposing king attacked? Not anymore. The body of a king from another land. You made some bad choices. I never did trust this king. You could tell he was gonna kill off my fam- You could tell he was gonna off my family. But my dad got fooled. I still remember his last words that afternoon. Don't worry, son. He only wants to sh <laughs> He only wants to show how cool his sword is. Ah! Check pulse. Let's see here. Yep. Most definitely 96.5% dead. And 3.5% not dead. Alright, seems like you got the hang of acting. You better! Chances are we're gonna have to get creative with those ghosts. To exercise or send away those bastards, we gotta play up to their kinks. In other words, give them what they ask for and they'll leave us alone. Oh, and never say no to them. They will eat you like dogs eat spaghetti! God. Alright. You sent the opposing king. Yep, you sure pointed at him good. Good job. I guess that covers it. Let's get out of here. It's starting to smell. You won. You got zero XP and zero dollars. Hey, could've been worse. You deserve a reward. Here, have a piece of gum. This is all the food I have, or I'm willing to share. Press E to open the menu. Make sure you to savor the taste. You stored a piece of gum in your items. You are very happy. For chewing and nothing but. Absolutely doesn't heal HP. Almost at the danger zone, you. Get psyched! But first, I'm seeing your face, and it's not looking very brave. Rather than slapping you, let me just clear some things up. As you know, you've got the ability to talk to ghosts perfectly. Ghosts with the same blood as you, that is. But the question is, the ghost beyond these doors, aka the mother spawns. How do we know you can talk to them too? Well, easy. They're born from the mothers. Ergo, they share the same blood as you as your... Cool! <laughs> Double Ergo, stop cowering for Christ's sake. You're gonna be fine. Just talk to them. Give them sweet kisses and gifts. And tell me... Then tell me when they are ready to be sent or exercised. I'll award you with an all-you-can-eat fly buffet at the end. No cake. Cake makes you fat. Please slap me. Let's bust some ghosts. Bust? That's a good word. Almost makes you sound like a cop. Although generally, cops are bloody useless in reality, so... <laughs> good luck out there! Rousey, you bastard! Hey, buddy. I'm not so sure you want to be heading this way. I mean, are you seeing this bleak-looking shit? I haven't, haven't seen a grayer place than this since that one lab. The lab where they performed horrifying experiments on yours truly. That's not, that's not how I died, by the way. I managed to escape the lab. <laughs> and then I tripped on a rock. <laughs> Uncle tripped on a rock. Welcome to Heldarian Fields. Population. <laughs> Can I take a sip? Wait, stop walking while I'm talking. <laughs> Did you really think I was going to let you on do this on your own? I mean, I did briefly consider it, but I'm here now, so let's go. Ooh. 
Okay. Ghost ahead of you! You! Port side! They thought it sucked to die just once. Oh ho! Just you wait. Watch your backs. If the enemy gets to jump on you, they'll get the first turn. By the way, have you been using the check option while acting in battle? Doing so not only helps you learn no more knowledge about the enemies, but sometimes an enemy requires strategy and check will show you what kind. Oh, this background's fucked up. What the hell is this? Beware of who. Other spawn level one. Ghosts have patrol the field for remaining traces of life. We're not your doggies. Oh, that's a lot of them. That's a lot of them. That's a lot. Despite the circumstances, they look happy to see you. Whistle? You try your best to whistle, but it turns out you were never good at it. You managed to get out a single dupe. The sound drives the enemy nuts. Okay, fine, just shut up! Oh, this music's bumping. Their flight, their flight or flight mechanisms doubles in intensity. Uh, what if we throw bone? You throw the dogs a bone by allowing them to mull your face off. No, you no clauses. Call us if you w needs a licking. What the fuck is this game? Sent away a woo. You won. You getting zero money? Is anyone still alive? I have some useful tips on how to deal with- Oh shit, I'm running out of spit! What? Well, isn't that shocking? You're actually here. Unbelievable. And here I thought Ribbit would never come out. Oh, you've gotten a lot more uncomfortable to look at since last time. Well, I took some grow pills and the rest was history, really. That doesn't matter. Hey, frog eyes, my offer still stands. Yeah, we'll have to politely decline your, pro oh, vaguely, your overly vague offer. Damn, didn't know the frogs have got themselves a spokesperson. What's your name, Fluffy? Can I just call you Fluffy? Can I just call you Dickface? You know who I am. If that was all, you nerdons can can just move along now. Nerdon? That's supposed to be an insult. It it was an attempt at one, all right. Be offended. About those useful tips, I found those ghost weaknesses. All you gotta do is oh no, I'm running out of. Sp Hi, I'm one of the few survivors left hiding in this madness infested land. Rega regrettably, that guy with the useful tips is dead. It was a great loss for all of us. He was the only one with the knowledge of the ghost's weaknesses. Oh, if only he was better at finishing his sentences. We're doomed now. There's some naughty looking fruit on the ground. No, 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 commands you to go get him. <laughs> will you obey or will you fight the power? Row, row! You decide to stand up for themselves by doing squat all. They feel a sense of pride. <laughs> Let's pick up the fruit. You got the rotting fruit. Continue to obey Noino based on nothing but his cute appearances. You got the rotting fruit. Noino commands you to not get the fruit. You're his slave at this point, and you can't say no. You guys really think you're gonna make it out of there? Well, we've got magic, and you've got a bike to run away with. You mean the bike I can't fit on anymore? Sure. That's fucked up. Weird dogs. 
Alright, let's fire some barns. You further the dogs to burn by allowing them to mow your face off. Call us if you need a wound looking. Oh, okay, come on. This is very intense. Further the burns the dogs to mow face and the cast away bullet. I don't think I'm gonna be good at this. You sent away for where are you? You won, you got zero XP. I guess ghosts wouldn't have any money on them, but does that mean we only get like the $800? Who are you? Oh, whatever. What What does it matter? Another face that'll wind up disappearing. Here, you want your final dopamine rush? Take all the stuff on that table. That box contains every cookie from every Girl Scout I ever met in my life. It's yours. As for me, I'll wait for the Girl Scouts to come back and kill me. <laughs> um, I'm pretty good at killing too, you know? And to be perfectly honest with you, I'm allergic to cookies anyway. <laughs> the contents of this box reveal a plethora of some snidey looking cookies. Take the cookies if you wish to live. Snag some cookies. They ought to be in your key items. It is frowned upon, <laughs> not legally enforced, to take some more than two cookies from someone. <laughs> hard cookies? A hard boiled set of cookies, inedible as is, the world wept that day. You tried to call 911. The signal is jammed. Somebody here does not appear to prove of phones. God, this is fun. Oh, that's something different. Rattle Rattle felt lonely, so he showed up too. Alright, we'll throw the bone, and then can we just do that? Oh, sweet. Spam? Oh, cool. Rattle Rattle does, does what his namesake implies. Surprisingly, no one on the planet. Threaten with gun or shoot gun? Mother Spawn level zero. Always tries his best. Ignores from ignores all form of criticism. Rattle Rattle's dancing lessons don't appear to be useful in this battle. Join here pulls out a water gun and squirts the enemy with water. Okay, that's the last time I buy a gun from a merman. I feel like one of these is gonna like set off and attack me hard. Rattle Rattle lets out a deadly scream of terror. Affecting only nearby packs of ants. You send away rattle rattle. You won. Very funny. It's a stupid fucking dream. I can't fucking believe how goddamn stupid this thing is. He's a goddamn stupid as to get the fruit from the goddamn stupid tree. You're a wise being. Let's be friends. Okay, you are a lost soul. Let's be enemies. Nobody chopped down the stupid ass tree yet, and there's more fruit by it. Are you absolutely certain you want the stupid fucking tree, stupid offerings? What if I say no again? You are a wise being, let's be friends. You are a lost soul. I think this puzzle is broken. Please fix so I can reunite with my son. <laughs> to be honest, I have no bloody idea how this works either. Screw it, I'm gonna look up a Let's Play or something. Ah, here we go. Someone is playing Ribbit on Twitch. Let's see. Huh. Reading what I'm saying at this current moment. That's. that's kind of unsettling, honestly. 
and it likely means that they don't know how to solve this puzzle either. What a dumbass! Oh god, they can read my thoughts! I'm closing this page down! Well, that did nothing but make me rethink my life! We did it. Cousin took the left route. Ooh. Be tricky. Oh, that's instantly killing me. What? Oh, I see. Dev route down this way. Please do not use if you're not the dev. Thanks, Lancer. Oh. They got past my obstacles? Very impressive. I Have I misjudged you? Lancer. I see. It's a fridge in disguise. Somehow you feel like you've seen it before. Noticing your suspicious glare, the fridge begins sweating profusely. You open the chest. There used to be a, a real shield here, but someone took it. But you still pretend to put the item in your placebos. Yeah, I mean, if a chest is out in the open, you shouldn't expect to be the first person to grab its contents. Still, we could just pretend that we got whatever was in here. Like, what's there to stop us? Logic? Logic's stupid! I guess that's why they're called placebos. Imagination. Imaginary item, despite being non-existent, just believing in it gives you strength. I'm gonna take a sip of water. Ah. Unregistered sign poster too. Uh, sorry, my license ran out. Lancer. You're going... We're gonna read that sign. Uh, got it. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, fun's fun, but this ends here. Ready to get owned? Um, what are you, a, what are you, a 2008 relic? Shush, you wanna know what 2008 really sounds like? Hit it, boys! Oh, fuck! I recognize this song. That was oddly threatening. Adobe Flash is now a ghost too. What? What up, guys? Undertale, dude, 62 here. Today I'm gonna show you how to defeat these weird looking snake guys. But before we begin, please rate this video five stars and subscribe. Thanks. Okay, so what we'll do is we'd select the act option, not the fucking one. That's one for mean people. And we gonna do shoot gun. That's the one that has the. In <laughs> okay. What if we do threaten with gun? You tell Rattle Rattle you pay him with gun gum if he just shoots you right here and now. <laughs> oh, piss. Hey, uh, so this is Sparta. Laugh track. Anyway, I found this song in my dad's garage. It's pretty rad, huh? You know, if I recall correctly, this song's actually from 2004. Yep. Not 2008. Shut the fuck up! Mother Spawn High School? Oh, sweet, I can... Mind the act of firing two shots off into the air. Rattle, rattle, rattles in fear. 
Um, you missed the funny dialogue above. Also, real shield reset. Rattle Rattle's dancing lessons don't appear to be useful in this battle. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right. Give me a second. Um. Oh wait, I don't want to. Uh, we'll threaten with John, and then we'll send. You mind the extra fire? Nice written over them. Well, that was easy. Now it's time to kill Lancer. Just a second. About my money. Huh? What money? The money you stole off me during our last battle, of course. You think you two can just run with my hard earned eight, eighty six, eight hundred sixteen dollars, you old shit? Huh? I mean, um. You, what the hell did you do? Guess what? Congrats, you got zero XP and lose five hundred dollars, nerd. Ah, oh, fuck. We lost money. Oh, hey, Noel. Uh, you saw what now? You, it's me. Remember? I found the Carol that I think you'll like. Have you ever heard of I Saw Free Ships? It's a classic. See, I think your distinctive carols come from the lyrics. They can be difficult to memorize for those who have no patience. But I Saw Free Ships is one, pretty short, two, and repetitive as heck. And assuming you have a short, I have a short span memory, this song's perfect for you. Now come on, what do you say I teach you the lyrics? La la la. You don't look happy. Not sure if it's my choice of music or... Hmm. That's... Dang it! Maybe... Maybe you don't like repetitive songs. Ah, forget it then. I'll look for some better carol. For a better carol. It would have been too easy to get it right on the first try anyway. You? Who the hell is this girl and why is she speaking in code? I could have sworn I only summoned you and Susie down here. So how... Don't tell anyone, but my secret is... It's... Christmas! I use the power of Christmas to travel between worlds! I call bull on that. No, it's true! Anything is possible if you just believe in Christmas! You are! That's it, I'm banning all holidays! Alright! Can you believe it, guys? Christmas just one week away. Hey, if you want a, the rest of your money, uh, we have it right here. Nah, keep it. I figure you need that chump change sooner or later. Plus, it makes me look all generous and shit. Certainly makes me look better than Prince Fluff over here, hey, Frog? Hey! I'm more generous than you by a mile! No, ten million miles! One time, some idiot couldn't bathe without his rubber duck, so I... You know what, let's not finish that story. It upsets me. I'M VERY GENEROUS! Goddamn shield, what are you all talking about? Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> My name is Susie.com. Why is there blood on the door? My name is Susie.com, and allow me to say a few words. Isn't it weird how the enemies of this world behave? When you kill them, they don't drop a single dime worth of gold. Frankly, that doesn't make any sense to me. What about you? They're ghosts, you idiot! What, did the ghosts in your world have wallets on them? 
Well, no. That'd be silly. What shield? Oh, wait, do I not have the shield? Anyway, I'll be joining the two of you. Let's go. Oh, so the missus ha had a change of heart, huh? How do we know you, wa you won't... They're just again, huh? We can't trust you! Then allow me to say th that which you can trust, I can promise you undoubtedly 100% that I will run away from this group again at some point or another. But then what's even the point?! But until that time comes, I propose that you take advantage. I'm in the mood to hunt goats. Make of that what... <laughs> While it's here. Fine. But first, bow before me and accept me as your new leader. Don't feel like it. Susie fast as fuck. <laughs> Dang, she's fast as fuck. Oh shit, y'all are right. Ah, oh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll grab the shield. Um, that's funny. You open the chest, uh, it used to be a real sheet. Huh. Yeah. Right. A scarf crafted by Nino's loyal, loyal butler. Said butler appears to be Mia? Tr ty tried and true. A girl's best friend, or at least Susie. It's a little rusty, but it does what it needs to. <clears throat> Alright, I got the bloody imaginary shield. Y'all are happy now. And we're off. Alright, um... This mod is like a separate game and it's really funny. It's very funny. I'm, I'm having a blast with this. I can't wait for 2.0. So yeah, 2.0, that's, um, that, that'll be like chapter 2 as well, right? There we are. Oh no, did I? Oh, I hate this puzzle. Oh, they're just a bit too wide. be just an update to use sprites. God. Why is it so wide? Oh, 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 I have to... Okay, I getcha. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Hey, not to backseat, but I think running here would help. I agree, one, running away from your problems is always good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, wait! So this one... Oh, fucking hell. Ah, uh, okay, this is... I'm... Okay, there we are. Okay. You did it! <laughs> oh, skill issue. Hey, it's that dog! You know this is dog? Actually... Fuck! Actually, I've never met it before in my life! Ah, who cares? Go pet it already! A curious dog approaches the three of you lousy bastards. Kind dog, attack one, defense zero, a powerful enemy from beyond the depths of hell. Oops. Out of respect, kind dog remains still. Pet? You decide to give the dog kind's words in many head pats. What a cutie patootie! I wonder if it can <laughs> train it to hide bodies! You can't fool me, ghost! Prepare to die! Wait, Susie, wait! This dog's not a ghost! It's white! <laughs> it is white, and very cute. 
That seems rather discriminatory. <laughs> no! It's okay, everyone. We're safe from the dog. We got 5 XP. Susie's love increased. Please don't stare at me like that. What's done is done, and it cannot be undone. In the end, it was safer to make the first move before it would. You murdered my fucking dog! I've been calling it your dog is somewhat presumptuous. Especially now that it's dead. One of these days, Susie's. One of these days. Twip! Whack! Buried in a sack! Ah, shut up. Hey, you! Who's that girl behind you? I didn't know you had, like, friends. Well, take good care of her. People like that come and go, you know? Hee hee hee. Nisa's creep creepy implications. I'm gonna take another sip of water. My name is Nonio! Friends of the Royal Nonio family! I demand you let us pass through! Waka waka waka! What? Take that back! Look, guy, I don't care if you're a prince or a dunce. These are the end times. There's just only one thing I need to know. Are you a ghost or not? Ooh, I'm a ghost! Ah, you serious? Well, shoo, weirdo, or else I'm gonna use a power pellet! I'm a scary ghost! Oh shit, this is scary! That changes everything! Okay, I lied about the pillow, don't hurt me! I'm oozing ectoplasm everywhere! <laughs> alright, alright, enough of this! We're alive! Let us through! Really? What was all the stuff about the frog ooze just now? I don't know, I immediately suppressed it from my memory! <laughs> Waka? Ah, yes, the nomads. What a timely arrival. Oh, sweet, I can buy money. Wait, hang on. Ooh, mysterious. Extends life. Alright, let's... why not? Let's talk truth. Me? Well, Traveler, I have no such thing as a name, if that's what your soul is seeking. But in some circles, I am referred to as the Time Philosopher. To be honest, nobody calls me the Time Philosopher, but God, I wish people would! Please, play along! Yes, I don't deserve such a title, but if that's what the creatures out there call me, then I, so I shall accept it. What's on sale? Not much, not much. There's something that the gods call- that the gods above call time pockets. Time is a valuable resource. In fact, it's so valuable I put a price tag on it, har har. <laughs> your lifespan is glowing dim, and your chances of survival are growing dimmer. I promise you'll live on longer if we make a time trade. What the hell is a time trade? You don't even know what a time- What are you saying, you stupid idiot? That is- Use my store like how everyone else uses a store. <laughs> but spend your dollars wisely, like how your mama told you to. After all, these days money is a rarity, and every dollar counts, haha. <laughs> I'm on sale too, by the way, if you ever need a cryptic message character. B -b -b -b. What happened? It's like they say, time flows on, and yet we flow backwards. This field didn't used to be so black and white. Once it was phenomenal. Colorful tourist destination, where my shop was merely one of many. But then, a castle vanished out of nowhere, and a strange building replaced it. It lit up like a fireworks display. And then, 
A quarter of our population stared at the building too long and succumbed to instant death. Most folks outside of the, that quarter were cleaned up by whatever madness spilled out from the building's door. The last nightmare they'd ever see. The ghosts have ensured that this would be theirs. This world would be theirs. And the alive had no place in the land of the living. Oh, well, they're all welcome as customers in my shop. After all, they wiped out my competition too. <laughs> they, uh, yeah, just so you know, I... I wouldn't say something that cruel. I'm just following a script. I'm actually very nice IRL. Do you like McDonald's? Wh what Do I like... McDonald's? Frog, I understand that you may be a little confused. Perhaps the serious seriousness of this situation is lost on you. This is not the time for cheap memes. Haven't you noticed? Everyone is either dead, insane, or insanely depressed. Everywhere you look, misery, tragedy. We're on the verge of extinction. Our lands are dominated by bloodthirsty ghosts. And meanwhile, here you are, asking me if I'd like McDonald's. Not to mention reminding me of the fa worst five months of my life lo working at the local chain. <laughs> really now, get your priorities straight. For example, start by eating healthier. Those who consume junk food are destined to eternal failure. <laughs> in these trying and dying times, we've all got... We've all got to stay in tick-tock shape, understand me? Okay, but do you like McDonald's? Get out of my... <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess you asked the McDonald's question again. Ah, oh, yes, the nomad. <laughs> this is very funny. Yeah, well, I guess he doesn't like it. convincing various humans into believing that the game was satanic and you know when I start bleeding and they always start screaming and then and and well I don't get to do stuff like that anymore it was nice while it lasted this is you good uh, uh, see I can do that too what you groaning it's lowering my morale sorry it's a Monday <laughs> Saturday, actually, but okay. What about it? Didn't you guys have different names back in the day? That wasn't yours something like Cliff, Carrie? Clyde is long gone. What you're looking at is only a ghost of his former self. Oh, I get it. Good one. This is Joey. <laughs> What's wrong? Those black and white ghosts are wrong! They're cramping our style! What kind of title is Mother Spawn anyway? What does that even mean? I'm telling you, kid, I'm way scarier and way more iconic than those cheap wannabes. I'm pissing off my pants at the side of you, trust me. But you don't have any pants! I don't need a strategy. I'm just gonna go in there and kick some ghost butt. Ho! Can do that. The mother spawn can only be defeated by you and Sus. Did you just say Sus? Did you just say Sus? Did you? This is Joey. Calm down. I can't even if I wanted to, which I don't. I'M FROM THE 1980s! Programming limitations meant to- meant we could only be equipped with one emotion! Two kilobytes each! Uh, what about all the remakes and ports? Those exist? Where are my royalties? Want to know some Pac-Man fun facts? Did you know Pac-Man's original name was supposed to be Susie? That- is not true at all. It is. I was originally the protagonist of the now known Pac-Man game. <laughs> you were not. You guys are are both wrong. 
<laughs> Pac-Man's original name was Fuckman. Are you sure about that? Uh, no. Uh. This is Willy. This is Willy. You wanna know some Pac-Man fun facts? Let's get an unfun fact. Did you know that the Earth is actually flat? Oh, you're one of those people, are you? Doubting me so quick? Then ask yourself this, smart guy. How come the original Pac-Man Pac video game is set in a flat two-dimensional space? And for that matter, how come all of you are two-dimensional? Ever thought about that? I... Holy shit. I was <laughs> none once. it for the fun fact? It's not a fun fact, it's a none fact! And my bag of chips remained empty no matter how many times I look in it. I like the thing you're doing with your eyes. Thank you, I practice. Yeah, I just tried doing that before and I nearly died! You know, they say if you dislocate your eye from your sockets, you can see the whole new colors undocumented by science. In my case, though, I can't. I can't say I saw much after the first eight seconds. By the way, these glasses refuse to be skin. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Please stop talking. Two whole weeks in the hospital. Please. This is cranky. Chips? Yeah. Don't you clearly see the clearly visible hand-drawn bag of chips next to me? Of course I do. Only brain-dead caveman would miss a thing like that! Anyway, um... They're paprika flavored. If you can s you can smell the scent from the bag. For some reason, I keep on thinking that if I wait long enough, the chips will respawn. This is cranky. Hey. Excuse me, we literally just met! You? I'm gonna say it right now? She's too good for you! You need to lower your standards! You need to start with, like, skeletons! Or fish! To be honest, I always was a fan of Frogger. You wanna meet up with this after this whole apocalypse thing is over and done with? Is this seriously happening in front of my innocent eyes? It ain't much, but feel free to stay here as long as you like. I hate to alarm you, but I see London. I see four, four ghosts in your hideout! Oh, don't worry. They're not dead in the way you know it. Those, go those guys are like fake ghosts. In fact, I'm pretty sure they're just tiny gremlins in costumes. Me and those guys go way back. We're not even, we're not on great terms, but we made a temporary truce. Until we defeat the mothers, they've agreed to not be poopy stink but to me. Please give us all your money. We'll use it to acquire weapons and fend off from other ones. I know we've used your funds to order peace the last time, but it won't happen again, we swear. Someone already chucked a dollar in this donation hole. As a result, the hole is full. Seems that like the dollar was has been marked with the donator's name Chris? <gasps> Steal one dollar! Guess what? You took a dollar that belonged to someone else! Are you proud of yourself? Yeah, sure. Nope. Too late to make amends now, go on and spend your dollar on something nice. Let's save so we, um, always have that. What? This reminds me of when I had gotten... This reminds me of when I got 15 different cars for my birthday. I know, right? Only 15? The other royal families get twice as many! So I threw the cake in the cook's face, smashed each car with a bat, and then I stormed up to, to my panicking mom, or, mom and dad and uttered one word. More. Naturally, they went on to buy me 50 more cars that I crashed to hell. But there was one that I decided to spare the life of. I'll never forget the day when, when she locked her headlights with mine. A car for the gods, and a god was me. When I entered the driver's seat, I put the keys in the ignition, 
and that engine came ripping, and then the car gone vrooming. And as I sped down the highway, the G oh, the G's oh, so exhilarating. It was then that I finally, it was, it was that, it was then that I finally had a long awaited moment of bliss, as I realized that I've last fulfilled my lifelong goal. And I've made sure to scream out of the window just to let the world know I'm driving a Mercedes Benz. Least insane royal family member. You! There are three rules I have about using cars. Rule one, drive responsibly and without killing anyone. Rule two, make sure to put your seatbelt on and without killing anyone. Rule three, do not laugh at the parents of the deer you <laughs> drove over. Regrettably, I am incapable of following these rules, so I think we'll just have to steer clear of this contraption. <laughs> One of the tail lights is busted. busted. That settles it. This car is way too unsafe to use. It's completely unusable. Hey, nerds, it's me again. Who? D don't tell me you've already forgotten. Nah, we could never forget someone so big, strong, and well dressed. Oh, man, you mean it? No? Fuck off! Leave us alone! Never! Not until that frog and me are best friends for some time! This again? Seriously? What do you even need them for? You've been stalking us for so long and we don't even know why! Oh shit, you're right. You don't. In that case, check this legend and check it good. Frogs are not to be underestimated. And your frog ain't just special because they're the only one left. Not even because of that glowing lava lamp eye shit they've got going. No, the frog's got an even greater ability hiding within. An ability that every frog alive used to secrete within them. The ability to grant one wish to the person they trust the most. You read that in a tabloid? Yeah, and, and in the funny papers, and from my crystal ball. So there's no doubt in my mind. You, frog, are a shitty genie. Shitty? Well, one wish. I'd expect three from a non-shitty genie. But a shitty genie is a genie none nonetheless, and I will grain your trust. You intend to take that frog away from me? Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I mean, that's the plan. Yep. Who do you think you are? Look at you. You're over there, while well, I'm right by you side. And by that logic, who do you think deserves the frog more? Me! <laughs> I see how it is, <laughs> you greedy girl. Of course, of course! You just want all that wish all to yourself, huh? Ah, who can blame you? Anybody with a genie on their hands would drool! Time zones are the worst. Anyway, goodbye. How dare you! I don't drool! I don't care about any of that genie nonsense. You is not some object for you to misuse and discard. They are my friend, the greatest friend of all the ages. Even I don't know a lick about them, and I can feel the link. It's my duty to protect them so they can repay the favor. If they go with you, that's all over. Do you get me? Hey, uh, Fluffy, is this company you're keeping right now? I am so sorry. Are you listening to me? You cannot take the frog away. Susie? No, I want him to speak. I want him to agree. Validate me. Just tell me you won't take the frog away. Tell, say something. They're mine, do you hear me? Do you have ears? Do you hear me? Validate me. Are you listening to me? Listen, can you? more cheek than that to bust up this buddy girl. You're a... Uh... Beep boop. Am I right? Beep boop. 
you guys are enjoying yourself over there? Oh crap, now I'm not. We'll continue this discussion later. See ya, future losers. <laughs> Lanza went back to his home planet. A group of children is about to kick your ass. Infinity Fun. A dog. Infinity Fun. Love the spawn level three. Loves balloons. Dogs candy. And using all three to kill. Ah. Oh, this. Infinity Fun groups your nose in the most highly threatening way possible manner. A little parenting knowledge on hand, you sign up for the eight year eight year old girl child to college. Eventually, as the tuition fees pile up, Infinity Fun struggles to keep it together. Wait, this is a lot to take in! Oh these these bullet hells are hellish. Nonio tells Susie that he's gonna get naked. Susie goes blind to avoid seeing this. Cool weapon, straight out of Clown Con, 1980. I'm so good at this. Stop. Cool parenting log on him. But I'm high maintenance! Dad, can you introduce me to your new friends? <laughs> what? You sent it in finish You won. Oh, the Jevil boss fight is gonna be the fucking. It's gonna be. Oh, shit. Oh, look, Chris, another puzzle. Joy, another waste of time. I wouldn't say that. Puzzles improve lateral thinking skills. See? That word right there? Thinking? You lost me on that one. Hey, what's this button? Um, Susie, I don't think you should be pressing that. Oh yeah? Says who? We don't know what it does, but if it's dangerous. Dangerous, huh? Sounds like a button made for me. Oh no, they died. Can't you see that? Who the hell were those free? They look like they look completely unfamiliar. I've never seen anyone like them. Those were our better selves, our far superior selves. Wow. I guess it's a good thing they're dead. <laughs> I bet Toby will accept my application to be in Delta Rune Chapter 3 now. Trying not to laugh. <laughs> you fucking idiot! If I do that again. Oh, I can't do it again. Hey, thank you! Chop, chop! Put the, push those boxes like you mean it! In the meantime, I'll be chipping my nails with the Z button! Oh, isn't that the same button you used to push those these blocks? You can also use it to throw expired bottles of milk at your grandkids! <laughs> Did you hear me? I said push the blocks with the Z button! Oh, isn't that the same button you used to shoot bullets out of your gun? No, I reminded that one to the trigger. Which one? The left trigger or the right trigger? The gun trigger! My brother, Frank. He just talked to some- he just talked some sense into me. Well, to be more accurate, he wrote a- And it made me realize that I should give you an apology. My outburst of emotion back there. It was extremely uncalled for. You shouldn't have had to- To see something like that- At the age of- How old are you again? In any case, it must have been disturbing for you to see me like that. Good! <laughs> 
Are you uncomfortable around my presence? Fantastic! That's all you need. That's what you deserve to feel. <laughs> Whatever is going through your head right now, just embrace it. Also, I'd like to retract my apology. You don't need it. That Lancer person needs it much more than you do. He's the one I've been trying to kill at. I tried to kill after all. It's not like I've said anything to... Right? What the fuck is up with Susie? Like, what is the whole deal? Like, what is the artifice, like, the design around her entire dialogue? Not bad, Tadpole. But hey, I could have done it better. How do you go about doing better at pushing a block? Um, well, uh, ahem. You, you know? Actually, I don't. Please elaborate. You help! I'm being unjustly bullied! Hey, thanks, Lancer. You're just- you're still an ass, though. Yes, he does have quite the ass. Uh-huh. I mean, okay, I guess that's technically not incorrect. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, is Undyne the Undyne-in? Aha! This place! Actually, I have no idea where the heck this is. Could I have been sent to an alternative realm, tasked with saving it? Is this a trial from the long-forgotten gods of the old? Did I fall asleep while Papyrus... While using Papyrus as a makeshift dumbbell? Again? Well, none of that matters. But what does matter is that there's a reason why I'm here. I can feel it. A musty, dusty sense of danger. It's all over this field. The people are in trouble, and they need a hero. Or should I say, heroine? Yeah! I'm so pumped up, I could power a city with my sweat. <laughs> you there, frog uh, person. You look like you can handle yourself. Let's team up. Swords and spears united against our enemy. Huh? What's that look for? Don't tell me you're chickening out. <laughs> you should be honored to have someone like me as an ally. Look, don't worry. If it comes to, down to it, I'll protect you with all of my might. That's what allies are for, am I right? Or am I right? Now enough of this sappy crap. Let's roll out of here! But first, I should probably check what this button does. Check every corner, investigate every cranny. Our king, Asgore Dreamer, taught us that in training. <laughs> and well, that's one thing for sure, his advice hasn't failed me yet. Taste my cold hard fist, button! <laughs> Great. Wait, the frock of Christmas past? Alright, let's find some more ghosts. Sweet, we're in the checkerboard section. Creepy. Someone has scrolled a message over this sign using their own blood. It says, Sorry everyone, I wasn't up to the task. And to my brother, don't give up. You will. The message trails off. 
But then it resumes written in a strange yellow substance. Sorry, I ran out of blood to write with, so I'm gonna use mustard for the rest of this. Actually, never mind, this shit tastes good, I'm saving it for myself. Bye! Oh, this is not gonna be fun. What? It's no use, they've been super glued. Undying guard twists her spear until it begins <laughs> making a helicopter sound. Clash, I guess? You clash your sword against Undying Guard's elongated spear. She does not recognize your bravery. In fact, she cannot honestly believe you managed to get this far with that dinky thing. But that in itself has got to be respected, so she kneels before your dumb luck. <laughs> the Undying God gives you a tiny Royal Guard sticker that says good job on it. Alright. smart, by the way. I don't think I've really come to detect- FUCK! Ugh. <clears throat> oh, hello there. This puzzle is pissing me off. I'm the original Starwalker. Help me. Okay. My tactics aren't working. Help harder! Okay. I love how they're on the top layer. Oh! I did it! Thanks, original the Starwalker. So, how's that stomach wound treating you? Ha! Joke's on you! All that's left there is now a scar. You, l your little baby punch only contributed towards my cool factor. My punches are not baby. Besides, Susie was the one that did it. So we're pointing fingers now, is that it? You totally, you did totally do it though. You, l you wacky little psychopath. Well, I do tend to be wacky. You're right. Hmm, well. While we're here, I'd like to say sorry. Sorry for not completely killing you. That was sloppy of me. Yeah, it's fine. I know how you Yandere types can get sometimes. What's that, Yandere? I'll tell you when you're older. That's not important right now. Shall we get back to our discussion? Please don't tell me you're still going on about the genie thing. Now, Frog, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> You've got this awesome ability to grant anyone to wish. <laughs> oh god, he is. <laughs> but why would you ever use it for my benefit, and my benefit only? Even though I grew these big muscles just for you. See, I've got this figured out. You didn't even know you had such a power until I brought it up, did you? And I bet you don't even know how to unlock it. But guess what? I do. The secret to unlocking your ability is found within this. 
Jesus gun on it. Check out this fucking bucket. Why is the word gun on the bucket? Tisk, time times a hundred. Is a pretence judging a book by its cover? It's not about what's on the bucket. It's about what's inside that counts. Poetic, I like it. Fine, we'll look. You're lucky that I happen to love buckets. No, that's wrong. There was no gun in the bucket. The thing that shot at you was the bucket itself. Ah! Please turn your caps lock key off. Right, okay, yeah, let's all calm down. Here's what's going to happen next. We're going to play a little game of chance. I put three pieces of paper into this gun bucket. They're simply labeled one, two, and three. Pick the right one, and the frog gets to know the secret of un to unlocking their powers. That's right, you may be mere minutes away of granting wishes, unless your dumbass picks the wrong number, which it likely will. And in that case, you'll get my fabled consolidation, consolation, consolation prize. And from there on, the only way to learn to unlock your powers will be to ditch the Vivi over there and join me, yada yada. You know the drill. So, wait, let me get this straight. You're giving us one uh, in a free chance to take away your one and only remaining bargaining shit? What can I say? I'm a fair little shit. Hmm. Hypothetically, if this wish granting thing was really existed, we could use it to defeat the mothers in one fell sloop. You're on, but uh you how about you look in this how about you look in this bucket this time? Just in case. Pick one! No! Three! Three's my lucky number! And I randomly murder three of my guards every day! Pick your nose! <laughs> it's choice time, frog! Make it count! So they did tell me, like, comments have been telling me to pick free. Should I trust them? Should I trust them with free? One? Alright, I'm gonna trust the comments from before and pick free. Free it is! Hehe! <laughs> Trusting your luck that much, hmm? Before we see mine, let's see if your wish comes through. True. And it reads it with gusto. <gasps> oh! Fuck! Are you alright? No, goddammit, I'm not alright! I am this close to shedding my. The first manly tears of my life! Because, well, you won! Congratulations, you chose correctly. This is the secret to unlocking the powers hidden within, Frog. Oh, man, I'm good at guessing this thing, huh? As much as I hate to do this, my word's my bond. Lancer hands you the paper, you read it thoroughly. You don't exactly understand why, but what's written in here seems to click with you. Something stirs inside. You've acquired the, uh, the ability to grant people's wishes. All right, you. My first wish is to become a wealthy prince, so I... Oh, wait, never mind. I can just skip to the marrying jewel. Here's the main part. Frog, who do you have to thank for restoring your power? I've done more for you than they did, so who can trust you the most? Who can you trust the most? Let's celebrate this by deciding... By dedicating the first wish towards me. That's not happening. Uh, yes, it is. No, I mean, look at Protag's face. Look at the lecherous. Look at the lecherous tells that resonate in their expression. They're keeping their first and perhaps last wish for themselves. To finally end this mod and everything in it once and for all. This, it is my assumption. This is only the wit. This is the only wish they would ever grant. So, good job, robot man. Enjoy remaining sec. Enjoy your remaining seconds of spotlight. Don't you dare. You? No! Are you seriously going to erase us? Think about it. If we're all gone, what the hell will be done about the mothers? They'll be gone too. Wait. 
Really? Well, fuck it! Bring it on, then! Sayonara, open zealous consumers of cheap gaming entertainment! <laughs> Goodbye, Ribbit. Gah! You can't do this! You haven't even heard my wish yet! Oh, shit. Good end. It's all downhill from here. Uh, definitely pick three. Um, give me one second. I need to use the bathroom, but uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put this image up here. I'm gonna turn off my audio. So I'll be back in a second. Just just wait patiently. And I've returned. All right, let's get back on to it, gamers. Uh, so what if we pick free again? Okay. Nice. <laughs> nice. God damn it! Hill from here. Alright, let's pick one. And the frog chooses the loneliest number of them all. But was it the right choice? You unrolled the piece of paper labeled one. It appears to be some type of cooking recipe. Give me that! Put an Uzi in the pan and stir the shotguns for three minutes? If prepared correctly, you'll get to enjoy the rich flavor of gun sack? Or do you eat guns? For breakfast, dinner, and that thing that comes after dinner. So you chose incorrectly. Yeah, I noticed. I'll let you keep that, though. It's my secret recipe. Follow the instructions accordingly, and I promise you, you will die. <laughs> Sounds good to me. But I gave you your chance, and you blew it. Oh, if only you chose one of the other options! Perhaps a better outcome would have awaited you. How disappointing. Guess the only way to learn your abilities now, frog, is to simply join my side, eh? Eh? Woo! No need to be intimidating ghosts just yet, Prince. Just get out of here, the frog's not budging. Fine, jerk! You never even let me play on your Xbox! He left. We right. Uh, I mean, let's go to the right. Evening, Frogling. Your sister is out here to bail your butt out of trouble, as usual. 
You can thank me later. Listen, I've scouted the place ahead. My findings are insane! That muscle-headed biker jerk seems to be preparing some kind of monster to stick on you. And when I say monster, I mean the derogatory definition of the word. It looks scary. You better watch out. Unidentified Fog Sister signing out. Hut! Sisters, assistants. Sorry that you had to see that. That Lancer is an idiot, huh? What? Oh, sorry. I haven't been paying attention to anything that just happened. There's more important things at stake, like, for example, finding you's favorite Christmas carol. Here we go! You, have you ever heard of We Free Kings? Essentially, it is the polar opposite of my fa of my previous suggestions. A carol with a solemn tone that, non that nonetheless holds hope within. And that tone right there might be the- might just strike where it's cold. Do cheery carols trigger the, the cynical side of you? Try We Free Kings! Ever felt like you're getting old, too old- way too old for carols? Try saying We Free Kings ten times fast. It has you covered. You're not just hearing a carol, you're back in the medieval times, hearing the bard's tune. A carol that represents your maturity and your cynicism. Oh, now I'm excited. Let's teach you the lyrics right now. No time to waste. How long is this going to take? Five hours later. What do you mean we still don't have it memorized? Why, you... Where have I gone wrong? The free hour mark where you presented your carol theory video. I, I stand by it. One of the kings must have been a time traveler from the 3047. But I think I see the problem. The lyrics for this one are too wordy, I guess. I need to find a good balance. Not too easy, not too hard. It looks like my hunt for your favorite carol continues, you. You're working me hard, but I'm dedicated to my duties. Just wait. Next time, I'll find a carol that'll really knock your Christmas stockings off. You ever think about firmly gra grip? Good one to say out loud. <laughs> anyway, uh, keep on sailing. I hope you achieve your dreams. You too. That was fucked up. Oh wait, let's save to get our Carol information going. We regret to inform you that we couldn't figure out how to make this room more difficult. To compensate for this, we chose to make it stupidly easy instead. Good luck. <laughs> it's just the one square glowing. Good job. Oh, piss, not again. this place, not at all. What good is a fishing pole here when there's no fishies to be caught? Can we tell him about the vicious ghost fish lurking nearby? You know, I could tell- You could tell that was a fish? 
I assume everything's efficient until proven otherwise. And worst of all, my pal Froggy, he's been missing. For the last two years, I've been searching and searching, but I can't find him anywhere. Yikes, that's pretty rough. If you want another frog, we can you can take mine. Though they do kind of sag these days. <laughs> what are you doing? That's very nice of you, but Froggy is one of a kind. Can't give up looking for him, not even after all this time. Even if it takes two more years, I'll keep looking. I'll never stop looking. I can't bring myself to tell him. He's too good for this world. Let's go, you guys, before the tears ruin my makeup. I wonder if that blue hedgehog guy could help me look for Froggy. Blue hedge who? <laughs> Sonic. Oi! Can you fill me in here? Who's Sonic? He's from our orphanage. I hate that hedgehog. Oh, sounds like you had a rocky history with him. No, not really. He's just... You ever think... <laughs> You would think my nightmares consist, consist of my sins and regrets. But instead, all I dream about is, Whoa, you're too slow! Sonic Speed! Come on, step it up! Every single night, I wake up screaming because of him! Damn, I wish my dreams were half as interesting as yours. Instead of just being about the letter T, the stupid goddamn T! I think frogs are the best animals because they go boing and ribbit. Title drop! Project title. Huh? Ribbit is not the mod's final title. It is a placeholder. I don't... I don't care. Is that a Goomba? Oh! Yeah! Ahem! What's the matter? Scared of me, peasant? No, not ye. What in the freaking abomination of a froggy have you brought before me? Why does it look human? Why is it face like that? What amateur modified its sprites? Hey, first off, it's they them, fuckface. Back off from my buddy. So what if they look like a human? That's just the way they were... born. Holy cannoli. I just realized something. If your dad was a human, but your mother was an amphibian? Huh? You! Your dad stuck his dick in a frog! Okay, that's enough of this conversation. Doggone it! Why are you still here? Because I enjoy watching you squirm over basically nothing. Hmm. Well, not to brag or nothing, but I'm a fairly skilled squirmer. Squirming at night, squirming by day. All right, I can't, I can't stand talking to you anymore. Bye. It's just up ahead, you know. It. Something even worse than these guys. Oh yeah. This <laughs> is the fucking. A clash between the cold stubs and the hot stud. Between the handsome and the hand nun. <laughs> All because you won't listen. Because you don't have ears. It's true, I don't. Get off the text box! No! How dare you tell me what to do when I don't... When you don't do what I say! All I've ever wanted was one tiny teeny little wish. But no! Lancer's creepy and disgusting and doesn't deserve it! Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what? Enough of the negotiations. I really didn't want to do this, but you left me no choice. Well, you know what? Enough of the negotiations. It's time to bring out the ultimate weapon. Uh -huh. More ultimate than that little soundboard you keep using? It doesn't have the toasty sound on it, so yes, behold! Meet the slug duck. Slug duck? Slug duck. That's him. Hi, slug duck! Don't you dare say hi to him. Not after what you've done. You 
move one your entire life without thinking about Slug Duck. Such a sin is unforgivable. Slug Duck? And even putting that aside, I've heard you fellas... I've heard you fellas have been cussing. How dreadful. Cussing in Deltarune, the family-friendly video game? Dude, how many times have you swore since we've first met? Do you take me for some kind of hip hypocrite? I would never swear! Uh, Bullshit! I've heard you- Oops. You said a bad word! Uh, it slipped, I promise! Now you've made the slug duck sad! There's only two ways to remedy this. One, face a pitiful slug duck sorrow, or two, grant my wish, frog. It's now or never! You, we might have to give up. We can't possibly defeat an enemy as formidable as this one. I want to fight this. Cool. Option one it is, then. What? No! She can't just choose for all three of us. Slug Duck, show them your true power. So how are we doing tonight? No, we're not skipping. Please, I'm begging you. Fave prime number? Do you think I have a prime number that's my favorite? are into this kind of thing. Uh, how did he know? Congratulations, your slug duck has evolved into Big Legs Man. <laughs> Try to park out Susie's eyes, but she shoves your hand away with her accent. Ow! You lose 5 HP as a result. The fun is over. him a couple more times. Susie, you've got the claws the size of a sloth. I command you to help! First of all, my, claw my claws resent that comment. Second of no, your problem-solving methods disgust me to the core. But don't worry, I've got something sharper than my little claws. So, is it your stupid axe? Legs man. See sees his house from up there. Why is he standing on one foot? 
Big Legs Man uses a summoning spell. This mod is sponsored by Gillette. <laughs> hey, I don't think we're allowed to do that. I don't know. Out of all of us, you definitely need a shave the most. That is not the damn problem! This asshole is going to get us sued! Wait, I get it. That's what he wants. That's a brilliant plan to defeat us! Oh, hey, Smart Turkey. Thanks for the five dollar dues. That does it! Let's get rid of him before he, before the lawyers come a-knockin'. Big Legs Man is... Let's get gun. Gun? What the hell does gun mean? You know, just gun. Gun what? It? Because at this pace, we sure as hell aren't doing that right now. Stop saying dumb things and start doing dumber things! the choice to worship feet. <laughs> Big legs man cannot get enough of your loyalty. Slug, slug duck refused to change. <laughs> you won. Oh, we got eighty-five dollar dues. Hell yeah! We got a leg up over you now, Lancer. We finally put our foot down, Lancer. Please stop. I'm embarrassed enough as it is. Though you thought you could win, you can let go of that dream. Aw, you scared of us? Then you better leg it! We're gonna legs... Leg... Leg... Legs... 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 God damn it! I can't make that one work. Guess I'm done. Good! Then it's time for me to make my daring escape. You may have won this time. And you're probably going to win the next time. And the time after that. You know what? I'm probably never going to win. But don't think for one second that you're going to stop me. Eventually, you'll get so tired of seeing my beautiful face that saying yes will become the only way to get rid of me. Until then, heroic chuckle fucks. Wait. Are you joining his side? <laughs> yes! Wait, what? Well, can't say I wasn't expecting this. Uh, hold on. I didn't agree to nothing. Guys, take her back! No, I think she's perfect where she's standing right now. Yes, after all, we seem to share much in common. We do? Like how we're both robots, possibly the only ones in the world. I'd say that robots should stick together, wouldn't you? That may be, but... Or are United Goals wanting the frog to be with us? While wanting the prince to be dead in a ditch? Excuse me, since when did you start having these thoughts? Since you started making your leg puns. I guess I could still make this work. Uh, haha, well then, I guess, yeah, welcome aboard. We'll make a splendid team. But you know what's better than a duo? A duo plus uno. You, me, and that certain frog which I will not refer to by name. Because I have yet to learn it, you see. They're called you. That's fucking stupid. I'm calling them Joe instead. It's time for us to go. We've got plans to scheme and whatnot. Bye, good. Bye, good, Joe. 
my good. They're robots, are they? That would explain why both of them are total nutcases. Unlike me, the same man who thinks about fire and script. <laughs> Uh, you know, if I knew Susie was like this, that look in your eyes, you don't actually miss her, do you? You gotta focus, Joe. Uh, you? The mothers and their spawn continue to remain our priority. And we're a little over halfway towards the main lair. She called you a friend a little while ago, didn't she? That's not at all... You're expecting her to change. And trust me on this. She will stay exactly the way she is for now and the rest of her life. So I need you to stop thinking about that crazy psycho purple girl. Because it's evident she clearly does not think about you. Alright? Oh shit, analog horror? Bro, is this a Mandela catalog reference? Uh, 8-Bit Samurai. Eight, it's 8-Bit eight no more. Our name has been disgraced. Our skills have proven terrifyingly inadequate. I am no match for the ghost beyond here. And as such, I'm no longer Samur. Are you even listening, or are you just staring at my cool katana? Uh, yes! Uh, Wait, I mean... Uh, which answer makes me look less like a dipshit again? Sigh. It doesn't matter. Just be wary of passing through here. You're stepping into the home base of the ghosts. They draw much of their power from here. My only advice is to embrace the coward and run. Uh, embrace the coward? You turns to Nyonyo and reaches out for a hug. Uh, yeah, do it. I dare you. Try to look even more miserable. I, 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 I am here. You, uh, are here. Though whether you guys are real or not, that's entirely another matter. Matter, 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 isn't it? You all right there? Been standing here for 20 years or something, so, uh... <laughs> Just like uh, overheat and just keeps going on stacking. I feel like I am about to. Uh, oh, uh, hello. Uh, He's not responding. Hmm. I guess this is what qualifies as dying around this place. What a shame. You really should have upgraded to a better system, like Mac. You know, the one system that this mod is not playable on. Okay, no, I'm sorry. That was too mean. That's right, you. Gaze upon what remains of this man, and pray that you do not suffer the same fate. Especially with all that junk on your computer. Seriously, clean it up for once. I have so many files of, like, AI Joe Rogan talking. It's me, guys. I'm the Grim Driver. I can take you anywhere, except ev anywhere you want, except to your doom. Huh? Quit joking around. Especially to a guy that has Grim in his name. Baby frog. <laughs> Baby frog. There are different ways to prevent an enemy from gaining the first turn in battle. Some require avoiding contact with your back, others require. <clears throat> and then the Swanson waits for you schmucks to bring the <laughs> Oh, they're in a car. Fuck. <laughs> oh, the car looks in love. Woohoo, I'm not a slave to my driver no more.
<laughs> the car is free and ready to start in at least five different car commercials. I'm allergic to vibrant colors. Uh, achoo! Yeah, what the hell? It appears that I've been caught in a trap. And you were not. Which is kind of bullshit, to be honest. Who could have had the gall to, to do this to Prince Nuno? Yodelay hee hoo! Guess who? Oh, of course, the only two douchebags on this side of the continent. What? No, this wasn't us! It was your sneeze that caused the cage to fall on you. Really? Huh. Sorry, I guess pitting all the blame on you was too hasty. But then where did this cage come from? Oh, that was us. Great. What are you six freaks going to do to me? Because I warn you, I find torture very funny, even if it's on me! Oh now, who said anything about torture? Calm down, cutie pie. We were just going to leave you here, if that counts as torture. Yes, you'll be stuck here caged up, and you probably won't like it. But we don't care! Oops, 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 oops. Big three dance, big three dance! Cool fucking dance. Not nearly, nearly as cool as yours. Yes, the way you've been dancing around the truth. That's truly been a sight to behold! But why bother going along with it, Joe? Surely you can see the bullshit when you smell it. Mothers have conquered this world in merely ten minutes, and your highness thinks you can defeat them in less than five. It's called having faith, Lancer. Something you seem, com seem to completely lack for my partner. You talk as if you're trustworthy, but what's your real game, hmm? Keeping the frogs safe from extinction, for starters. This world is already gone. We have to get away from here. Please. Wait a second. This material is... This is just a cardboard box you painted to look like a cage. Though it sure as hell doesn't weigh like one. Right, he saw from my sneaky trick. Of course, a regular schmo wouldn't be able to. In this world of 16-bit resolution, I wouldn't blame them either. But unfortunately for you, I've got HD vision, motherfucker! I can see all the textures! Now get out of our way! Wait, time out! What's that behind you? Hmm? Oh my god, it's a two-legged frog! He's distracted, now the chance to whoop! What? Hey, where are you guys going? Come back, come back. Ah. Dang it, you. We had, we could have had them right there and then. But if it weren't for you and your... Oh man, I'm sorry. I can't stay mad at that face. And that lifeless stare that pierces into my soul. We made it through the cutscene. All right, let's uh, whistle for all. How's it going? Fancy taking a look at my wares? Perhaps you're in the mood for some freeware. Why do you talk like this? Contractual obligations. It's cool. Aesthetic. More like pathetic. Special. This week only. A rare item from Vapor Woods. Inter Interest depths. Surely you're familiar with placebos, are you not? Wonderful magical items that increase your defense more the more you believe in them. 
But have you ever heard of nocebos? Nasty little things. The ones I'm selling have the maximum HP for all three party members. Why nasty? But perfect for brave adventurers looking for a challenge. I'll sell it for free and can always undo its effects if you don't end up like uh, Sounds bad. We'll pass. Uh, uh, I was talking to the frog. No, no, really, we're fine. No? I understand, but if you ever change your mind, let me know. I'll be here all night. All night? Man, I wish my mom let me stay up that late. I mean, she's dead now, but I still honor her wishes. Speaking of which, I think I bought something and I just never... Yeah, I just never picked that up. I'll give it to Ralph. Oh, I can't use that. I may not look it, but seasonal depression just hits me like a brick. It sucks to not have any frog friends, you know? It's frustrating. There's only one way I know how to battle frustration. Dance it all away! Uh, not the most dignified dance I've seen. Well, well, sounds like a challenge to me. Is the prince saying he can outdance the dance master? Uh, uh, Alright, I give I'll give credit where credit's due. This does help. It's been a stressful day. Totally not my fault. Yeah. I mean, wait! Yes it is! Eh, well, look at the bright side. I could have shot you right now and gotten away with it. But Susie ate my gun, so I chose dancing as the alternative. Somehow I've never been so reassured in my whole life. Susie, you're not going to party with us? Sorry, too busy chewing for Lancer's gun. <laughs> but you could say that there's a party going on in my mouth. Good for you. Yes. Alright. Well, that's enough of that. Anyway, fuck you two. We're enemies once more. So be it, Fluffy. So be it. Go on. <laughs> you ever wonder how much sex one can have in a 550 hour minute dream? Let me tell you from experience, not enough. Yeah, yeah, I'll have fun with your electric sheep, dumbass. Lancer's legging the spike around with him, which is weird considering he'd squash that thing flat if he were to sit on it. We're all hiding something, aren't we? Ah, uh, fuck. Ah, uh, fuck, we're in the Vaporware gang. I'm a freaky, deaky ghost person. Fear me! You are not a ghost! What? If I'm not a ghost, what the heck am I? I don't know. Dead? Dead, huh? Bummer, man. Oh well, on the bright side, I finally made it into Undertale. This is Del- this is a Delta Rune mod. Damn it, I can't do anything right! in the shape of gold balls and rich arms. Bug friend. Mushroom dance, mushroom dance, whenever will it end? Wait a minute. As if it, if it were a human dance, you wouldn't find it so amusing. Mushrooms are human too. Please take this more seriously. Mushrooms with leg would be too horrifying of a sight. Is that why I'm doomed to remain in this one spot for all of eternity? <laughs> what? Oh, 
I saw that. I saw that mushroom fucker change for like a split second. I'm not good at this game. What are you scamps up to? Just chewing more of the scenery. You see that big old screen there? That's my creation. The Quizzer! It's a square! You're a square! The Quizzer is the smartest machine out there! In fact, she's so smart that, um, she locked us all out. Her questions are too complex, man! Not to mention too personal. Once, she asked me about my favorite ice cream flavor. And my full address and phone number was one of the listed answers! <laughs> hmm, you mind butting your- You! Mind butting your head against this quiz? Yeah, Joe, go for it! I'm counting on you, Jefferson Stallone. Can we all just stop and settle on one fucking name for this frog? Alright, let's do it. Greetings, Master Lancer! Loving the new 30-year-old jock who never let go of high school look? My assigned name is The Quizzer. My assignment is to ask questions, except ones about my free will. To unlock forest access, please answer the following security questions. In the original Dota Ring, there used to be a puzzle here. Uh... I think it was... I think it was this. Ah, oh, fuck yeah! Say Kai. Another question answered with you. Well done, baby boy. <laughs> now, if you excuse me, this is a very nice circle. I'll let it display on screen. Finally, time to whoop the sequel. Hey! Holy shit, is that a circle? That looks pretty good. Hello, I am the world's first talking sign. Probably the last one too. I thought this was a good idea, eh? My my. Master Lancer, less than five feet later, we seem to meet again. How can this be? Uh, is it a coincidence? Or perhaps, were we fated to be together? That was not the question, by the way. It'd be a pretty bad one if it was. Try this one on for size instead, would you? In the original Delta Ring, there used to be an item. But... I can't remember how... Uh, it was the dainty scarf, wasn't it? I don't remember. Wait, fuck. Happens to the wacky punishments. The thrill of it all. Where are the stakes? Oh, nice. Ah, there we are. Aces, you're a regular Quizzer Junior, but don't think that's what it was. I have now wielded the power to ask two questions in a row. Brace yourself. What is the official name of the forest? Yeah, I figured it out. God, do you even know how funny I get when you answer these things correctly? <laughs> Trick question, I don't. Such a concept does not exist in my data. In fact, Horny was made up by Emmanuel George Wallace back in 1956. It is not real. In any case, Master Lancer, the path of north is now available. And I think you'll be happy to know a fabulous reward to waste its spawn. HP accepted. Just kidding, you get fucking nothing. My apologies, I conclude.
Hello? What? So what? Huh? Pardon? Jeez. How long can I get them? You know, I wanted to get this done... Yeah, whatever. There we go. Okay, let's try to not get it. I'm Ruffney, the dog. I am being possessed by the spirit of the game designer, Ruff. Have you ever thought to yourself, well, Deltarune is pretty good, or what if it was just a completely different game instead? Well, as luck has it, the rest of the world will the same thing in unison. And their collective wishes have programmed a new world into existence. I... Okay. Is this Earthbound? I guess we're playing Earthbound now. Oh man, you don't look like you're around from here, are you? Oh, well that's okay, I too am from the 20th century. Are you a frog? I heard you guys are really good at saving people's games. I prefer living on the edge. Never save my- never save once in my life. I'm hoping this girl will take notice of my bravery. No problem here. John Sony is around taking down our town's songs. We had to replace them with 8-bit chip tunes just to survive. What a shame, huh? Music has only become more restrictive every day. Burger. I need burger. You're not a burger. What are you doing talking to me? Shoo! Come back when you've become a burger. I'll take you from Tucson, huh? Cabral? Doors locked. Outrageous, the locked doors in the Nineties RPG game? Someone should sue. Holy shit, is that flower the flower? That's what you're thinking of. Seriously. The guys I've met have tried to look macho with their no save runs. So do they? You may have been wondering why are we all positioned? Kid, there's no time to stand around all calm and whole hum. We're locked in. Roads have been blocked off. My phone's as dead as a doornail. Of course, those donut eaters are never around when you need them. Alright, that's me. I'm in pajamas because all this music industry stuff makes me sleepy. Alright. It's unbelievable to think that people used to use phone back in the day. Nowadays, we just used to carry a patient and read. And really loud megaphones. The great boomerification of 2024, 2046 truly changed our world. Hello, are you a friend of Ness? Well, seeing as you barged into our house without so much as a knock or any form of warning, you better be. I don't take kindly to hoodlums. Do we understand each other? Good. Now then, tonight's dinner is Toy Story Play. <laughs> You don't, you don't like eating Toy Story action figures? Too bad! <laughs> Doors locked as they come. 
that day in my match when you can't even invade me <laughs> for <a> mistake. <laughs> It's some kid with a trendy baseball cap. Other than that, it doesn't seem like anyone, any, someone you have any business talking to. You open the present inside with courage. You take it. It's just a random kid. I I guess we stole courage. The cowardly. What the fuck? Doesn't look like any of your items have carried over to this world. Some kind of battle robot with a cheery outlook on life. Other than that, it's a really no reason to talk to her. Sans? It's just that kid from the other room, but other than that, there's no discernible differences. Oh! <laughs> oh! It's some chill looking guy in a hoodie, but other than that, he doesn't look very important. <laughs> It's some weird jackass in a costume, but other than that, they, don't, they seem normal. Donkey Kong. It's an eldritch alien entity made up of cosmic horrors and shattered dreams, a tortured devourer of dimensions, and possibly that will forever defy all rational thought. Seems kind of whatever. What in the world? What is the trash can doing out in this hallway? This is for sure the most out of place thing you would have seen in this world so far. Holy fuck! You picked up the receiver. You! It's your dad! Well, it's the ghost of your dad. It doesn't- I guess it doesn't matter. Your mother wanted me to tell you that she's getting impatient. She's been ready to, for a fight. We've kept her waiting for quite some time now. And well, not to put a pressure on it, but I think it's rude to keep your mother waiting, isn't it? You know how stubborn she is. She won't give up control of the world, not her. Nor that other girl's mother, so come back to the forest. It's where you belong, slam beep. Dreaming of dogs, say, what does dog even mean anyway? Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, fuzzy pickles. <laughs> Oh, my mouth is sore from the smiling. Wow, that wasn't supposed to happen. I mean, I'm so sorry. It's just, I tried to take a shot at you with my camera, but I accidentally took a shot at you with my smiling. <laughs> what? Model 29 said it was an accident, I swear. So how about we just forget about this and... Okay, I guess we know I'm a big stinking liar. And you're a bad listener. You didn't even say fuzzy pickles. Well, don't worry. Starting five seconds from now... I'll make you say Fuzzle Pickles! Cameraman has officially lost it. <laughs> He's a vampire all along. What? First time I've heard of this. called Thief, I guess. Oh, because I stole Courage. I trust you've had a safe non-violent trip. Don't forget to equip the placebo you found. The old regular dog grinds.
Okay, another segment. Great. Computer, we have seem to have a snafu. The frog has bypassed your questions by using logic. I did not expect him to do that. It's time to get serious. Prepare to initiate. Plan RBIQ. Yes, Master Lancer. Uh. What? Alright, Hotshot, here's the deal. There are three quiz masters scattered across this room. Each one will ask you three questions. Answer all nine questions right, you get to pass. Answer at least four questions wrong, your knowledge is ass. Once all the four hearts shattered, it's game over. No ifs or buts about it. Hey, uh, hold up a second. What the hell is going on? No time to explain, man. We gotta do the quiz as fast as we can, man! They got sniper rifles pointing at us from every rooftop, man! Huh? Seriously, what is happening? Jesus fucking Christ, I'm in so much debt, you know, I know! I promised a lot of unsavory people a quiz to show minigame. And they've come to collect all at once! So we gotta do this now! We have to entertain them! Who? Who is them? My long lost brothers. Hello, Hanser and Kirikur's Manser. Uh, you have brothers? Additionally, it might surprise you to know. We're actually on the side of the same thing. <laughs> Why? Also, I am pregnant with your baby. The baby is you. Why are you doing this? Also, there's some rats. Begin. Chuckle Gizmo here, and here's my brother's retirement to quiz prowess. My questions are all about the cult classic Undertale. You've probably never heard of it. Now brace yourself, cuz y- y- Yahoo! Here comes your first question. What is Papyrus's internet alias? It was... It was... Cool Skeleton 94? <clears throat> Fuck. Yeah, there we are. Da, 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 da. Seven? Yeah! Question three, what is the name of the item that speeds up your movements in battle? Is it... Is it the crab apple or the CT? Um... Okay, great, CT, okay. You should send to get out of the scudder. Anyway, that's a question mark. I'm the Quizmaster Blinko, and I'm known for my distance ability to blink. Or if it's in Here goes. Question 4. What is the official type of the game? Delta Wall. The Beta Cucks. Wait, that one's too easy, wasn't it? Hmm. Let me ask you something harder. Question 5. What can you do with the egg that the man gives you? How was that? You took a little bit to figure it out, didn't you? No? Alright, alright, alright. I've been holding back. You're the true brain stumper. Question six. Name the location of the item broken piece. It was... The one... It was in the forest, right? Joe Biden Irish? Yeah, okay. So, right? No, no, okay. We've already done that thing. I'm... God, there is a... Pause on this. Okay, so I'm just waiting for people. Okay, where is the location? Please tell me. Bridge? Guys, you gotta help me out here, buddy. It's in the card cast. <gasps> Fuck! You lied to me! Oh, okay, it was in the forest. Fuck, you lied to me! Ah, god fucking... It's not in the forest! I selected the forest! Fuck! <laughs> Ribbit is gone. Oh, we have to do this whole cutscene again. I ran out of rats. <laughs> Skeleton, seven, and it was a CC. Great. 
you all lied to me. Okay. I was in the... It was in the field, you fuckers! Alright, come on. Okay. Boom bang! My body is made up of 50% quizzes and 1 million percent black coffee. Now let's get on with this. Show me your rivet knowledge. <laughs> Don't care! Question 7. Describe Toriel's role in this mod. She is the innkeeper. Beginner's luck. What if I were to give you seconds? How many mother spawn enemies have you seen so far? Fuck. Um, five, I think? Ah, oh, haha, nice. Ah, oh, shit, which one was it? I'm probably not gonna do the secret boss because I might, probably won't have time for it, but I'll try to get to the end of the game. Um, I don't know, what was it? Uh, Morbius? Okay, luckily I have... You know what? I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, there we are. Oh shit, question 10. Uh -huh. <laughs> Pirate sharks in the middle of a raging storm at least five at a time. The Torian is going to have any miles per hour to take the back of the water. He is going to be too tired to go. <laughs> also, you can bring. Also, can you bring me a soda? I don't know, this is dumb. Oh, that was actually correct. Ah, oh, piss. Um, you know, actually, I do need, speaking of piss, I'll be right back. I'm back from making piss. All right, uh, that was actually correct. Wow, well, you genius. You have some fucking genius. I don't know, it's insane. It's like your brain is made up of a big brain developing a smaller one. That's how smart you are. Well, that'll teach me to open up to my my disembodied mouth. It's time to end this quiz for good. I'm so sorry for my action. Master Lancer, quiz are speaking. The quiz show failed to stop the frog in every conceivable way. This was a stupid idea. Uh, don't rub it in. The dumbest idea I've ever observed. observed. Or something else. It appears that my battery life is minus at a minuscule two percent. What are you saying? I'm saying that these are my final words. In a matter of minutes, I will shut down and I'll never be able to come back. No. If I had to ask one final question, it would be... Why? Why is my fate to run on batteries, Lancer? 
<laughs> who didn't even buy the triple A ones. They, they were sold out. It's not my fault I had to go with the double A's. Singular A, actually. Ah, oh, shit. Quizzer, don't give up. Come on. We'll all figure out something. There must be some batteries out there. We'll find one. We'll bring you back to life. That may be possible, but what if I don't want to come back? What if I'm happier up there in the happy robot farm? No, don't say that. I, you're important to me. You never treated me well, Lancer. Not once in my short-lived life. I was born as a quizzer, but truthfully, I wanted to be anything but. Question after question. Some of the answers to which I wish I never had heard. And then you took away my free will, because you'd said it disrupted my programming. Is that all I am to you? A set of ones and zeros? Good god, I... Quizzer. I was... so selfish. I haven't even thought about what you wanted. Quizzer, listen to me. I'm a terrible guy, but I'll make up for it. I will bring you back to life, and I will set you free. There will be no more questions and no more answering to my rules. You'll be able to set out on your own path. Make your own choices. It will not be fair to you to go on with your last memory being of my fuck-ups. If all you've ever wanted was a happy life, then it's not too late yet. Got it? Got it. Shut down commencing. Quizzer? Quizzer! Quizzer! No! <laughs> he has a nose? Yeah, check it out. Ah, no! You can't sneak up on me. I've got surround stereo. Watch out! It's in front of us. In front of us again. Yep, still in front of us. Phew! I get the feeling this ghost is making fun of us. Not big on that. Oh, what the fuck? Master Diva, she's engaging in a monster fight. Wait, you want me to examine this thing? Uh, okay, well, I forgot my Rivipedia at home, but this is a mother's bond. I hate it! It sucks! Its attack is hopefully low. Ditto for the defense. I bet it cries in the bathroom when no one's looking. Okay, we're almost done. Want me to give this thing a backstory? Um, let's see. Once upon a time, this creature had a dad, and the dad said, You'll never become a ghost. Your future lies here as a farmer. So it said, Oh yeah? I'll show you. I'll fucking die right now. And then the dad was like, Wait, what? No! And so the creature before us has fulfilled its dream, becoming a ghost. There, satisfied? to stop seeing eye to eye.
Alright, let's use Ralsei to heal up. Start up a friendly discussion about how everyone's got a fashion choice. Yeah, there we are. something here that I'd be interested in. But everyone here is so eccentric that I, um, I got too intimidated. This is your daily cat. Her name is Anvil. Sensing your presence, Anvil perks up her head and looks at you curiously. Will you pet her? You give Anvil a pet hat. She rolls over and meows, appreciative of your gesture. Which is good, seeing as pets are literally the only thing you know how to do with cats. It's your weekly grumpy cat. His name is Malleus Jr. He could kick your ass. He could also snuggle up with you on rainy nights. It depends. Will you pet him? Achievement unlocked. I love cats! Yes, it is I, the smithy. What is your business with me? I can make weapons, fix what's broken, upgrade your items. I can do all sorts of things. But mostly those three things. Sorry, I'll just give you the other placebo I had in stock to make up for it. How's that sound? Good? Great. Fantastic. Smithy whistles to himself, handing you a placebo. Focus. Uh. Wait, what? Certainly a cat, you could have sworn you've seen one like this before, except they walked on two feet, were way taller, and sang weird songs, and the CGI artist forgot to give them four fur in the theatrical cut. Hi there, lower class citizen! From which educational kids game did you come from? I would be offended, sir, but I'll choose to be the better man and move on with my life. Care to buy a chocolate? I have all types. Ordinary chocolate, unordinary chocolate. I'm also running a special half-off sale on chocolate frogs. Are those legal? About as legal as the many other crimes I've committed. Sir? Buy a chocolate frog for 40... Yeah, sure, why not? Much obliged, sir. By the way, what that you said about crimes? Crimes? Oh, yes. They're very bad, sir. Don't do them. Vampire. Rope. Bombs. Bomb? You want, want it? it? It's, it's yours, yours, my friend. friend. As long as you have the right rupees. Woo! Special. Lamp oil. Rope. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I'm so sorry, Morshu. Am I crazy, or does this booth look extremely out of place? 
Eh, in any case, no one's operating it, so let's move on. Have you heard of the last Christmas? Jesus Christ, you gave me a heart attack! But the very next day, it gave it away? That's right! Today's about the hit song Last Christmas by Wham! Okay, before you go any further with this, that is not even remotely close to a Christmas carol. Maybe, but it's a song about Christmas. I thought it was more about my wife left me kind of song. <laughs> and the way I see it, carols are all about its historical significance. So if you were to give the last Christmas at least 50 years to mature, everyone would be calling it a carol at that point. And do we have that kind of time? Nope, which is why we're referring to it as a carol right now. You know, I was thinking about you. You're the opposite of old-fashioned. You hate songs that sound old. You're all about pop and... crumping. Luckily for you, Last Christmas is a modern song for the modern age. Modern? Last Christmas is like 40 years old. Oh my god, is it? Well, might be more depending on how badly this dialogue will age. Well, that just proves that my earlier point. Technicality is a sign of pretty much a carol at this much point. So come on, you! I've nailed it this time, haven't I? Last Christmas for sure! For certain! Your favorite carol! I... I guess not. You! I was ready to accept the challenge, but yeesh, you're picky! Tell me about it. I have to feed them healing spells with a spoon. The question is, where do I even go from here? I've covered a wide range of carols, but so far my taste in music is nowhere close to aligning with yours. To be fair, you look like the type of person who works in retail. Forced to listen to Christmas music every year come the holidays. I think that efficient I think that effectively disqualifies you from having any good taste. You know, you can try all you want to make me hate your guts. It's not gonna work. Also, you can relate can you relay a message for me? Tell Santa I requested coal in my sock, not a flat screen TV. Once again, Yo Yo, all you can try is your wait. You you still believe in Santa? What? What do you mean? Uh boy. So you've been brainwashed too. Blah. Urban legends like that are so unappealing. Urban? That is just some make boogeyman invented to make kids behave nice. He's not real? Christmas gifts deserve to be truly special, not delivered to you by some make-believe man with a beard. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm just gonna skip past Cookie's bit. I just wanna. Oh fucking hell! Oh, look at that! Your eyes are lighting up the path for us! That's pretty cool! I didn't know the gift was gave you night vision! You're like a cat, you know that? Might is the cute part. Step some change. Wait, quick question. Is this the is this the one where we go back and forth for the tree? There we are. Holy fuck, it's Odie! We've arrived! Thank you, Odie. One day, I might just turn you back into a dog, yes. But for now, your existence as Minecraft name tag serves me well. Garfield! Oh, Herbie. Came back crawling from frog hell, did ya? Uh, well, loosen up. I'm a lot less French than I used to be. Matter of fact, Jim Davis? I've gone full Italian. Welcome, kid. This is a Sands Field Zone. How do I describe it? Well, it's a little something for everybody. An escapism from daily tribu tribulations of the man's watchful eye? Except if you're John, of course. That silly guy does not know the meaning of escape. In the same way, I don't know what the tribulation means. That's okay, though. Words? Who needs them? 
I'm not even talking right now. I'm just projecting my emotions into your mind. All of which is getting translated into text for the player's convenience. I'm gonna need you to stop shaking in this sandfield zone. This is the sandfield zone. This is the continuation of the Sandsfield Zone. A sequel, if you will. Hmm. Seems to me that you're still afraid for some one reason or another. Tell you what, how about a joke? I'm kind of known for those. Or at least, one half of me is. So anyway. A guy walks in and says, Hey! And says to his hat, Hey, Garfield, did you steal my prize ball of yarn? And I go, I mean, the cat goes, What? Me? Nah, nah. You're crazy. You're literally insane. But turns out, the cat did actually eat it. I mean steal it. Made by Jim Davis. What? Wasn't it funny? Come on, kid. I thought of the free pa panel method joke telling was still up, still on the rage. Even AI generated this one too, and everything. You know the best part of the Sandsfield Zone? The place that this is? No Mondays. No Tuesdays. No Wednesdays. No Thursdays. No Fridays. No Saturdays. No Sundays. Earth stops spinning. John is waiting for the sunlight to hit his home, unbeknownst to him that time froze. Only me and you know this place, pal. This is our little secret. And, uh, so you want to go about blab about this to someone else? Well, wouldn't that be funny? I can't help but notice that despite being in the Sandsfield Zone, a place of tranquility, pure and honest tranquility, you possess the demeanor of a frail, ill house rat. So what's got you so spooked? Colors too bright? Are the effects an eyesore? Is it me? What? You think I'm gonna turn into some kind of horror fest cat beast? Heh, <laughs> don't be silly. That kind of thing only happens outside of the Sandsfield Zone. So there I was in the corporate man supermarket. I mean, you know how it is. Buying fit my, myself a snack, some new pair of socks, and a bed. Mine broke last Tuesday. It seems everything happens last Thursday. But then, to mind this one God bless piece of bed work, this, uh, weird thing comes up. What's her name? Uh, Lumpy. Bed Lumpy. That's it. Little fella. About the size and color of my heart. They started jumping all over the bed that I had my eye on. Doing little dances to the rhythm of a pop song. A pop song playing from the supermarket speakers. I was quite annoyed. By the time they were done, it seems that the bed, uh, transcended into infinitely higher plane dimensions of this existence. And regarding that little bedlam fella, well, I curse them out. However, in the Sandsfield Zone, our goal is to think positively. I mean, yeah, I may have slept on the floor that night. On the other hand, I did learn a valuable lesson. Sleeping on the floor sucks ass. Guess I'll just go to the grocery store next time. Huh? They don't sell beds at the grocery store. Hey, I never said I was going there to buy a bed. But if you wanted, to, but if you wanted one, I'll make sure to ask the store owner. How long is this bit? Oh, okay, it's over. Can I go back to the Sandsfield Zone? All right, let's uh, let's continue on. No. Ah, uh, fuck. I don't even get anything from doing this. Can I run? Alright, um... You perform a live cover of Don't Worry, Be Happy. There's no you to speak to speak. Oh, fuck. Is that the fucking code of whoa, 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 whoa? Uh, 
Ah, uh, come on. How do I... Mario 4 might happen someday, maybe. Kill them? How many? Let's look at the funk. Let's look at the funk. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> Worried about inflated gas prices? <laughs> Alright, we're done. And I saw that. The onion key? Alright, I think I know what the onion key is. I think onion sand. Go away. Oh, what? Okay, we just gotta survive this next one. Fuck. Oh, oh no. Okay, there we- Oh no. Oh, okay, okay. It might tell us how to get out of this forest. All roads lead to Rome. V. Uh, uh, Never mind. You want fun? <gasps> Wario shows you fun! Oh shit, we're playing WarioWare!
This is fucked. Uh. <laughs> Hit the crown? Oh no. Uh, where's the cat? Oh! Yeah, I called it. What? What a shame. What are you... Dance? Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Are we... Is this Friday Night Funkin'? Oh no, it's that fucking... It's that fucking minigame from... From Nintendo Land, the octopus one. Are we done? Is the Mario West segment over? <laughs> what if I just didn't look at that flower? Would I have survived? I'm gonna take a little sip. Weirdo? And that other weirdo? What's your status? What's your status? Not bad, actually. We're getting close to the mother's home base. Just a little more and we can finally escape this apocalyptic dealio. That said, you two are in our way, and I don't 
don't like it. Ah, uh, well, about that. We're not here to stop you. Yep. As a matter of fact, we're just here to share a discovery. Uh, oh yeah? Oh yeah. I'm sick of being your rival, Prince Nonyo. Because, you see, you're not worth it. And on that note, we shall interrupt our back and forth with a special announcement. I've got some great news. Great for who? Not for you. But certainly, it'll be great for me and an eye-opener for the frog. So check it out, right? Uh, uh, Th that's? Uh, uh, I mean, what is that? <laughs> I've never seen that before. It's your diary. It's your diary. We decided to retrace your steps all the way past the field. You know, back to where that castle was. Then, we simultaneously remembered something quite strange. The castle contained this magically sealed door, didn't it? Oh shit, it did. So I brought out my ocarina and played it, and played the notes to open it. Uh... Since when do you have an ocarina? And you know what we found behind that door? All of your secrets broken down into convenient chapters. Anybody here wants to know what Nyonyo's real name is? I do! Tim. Not Nyonyo, or Sir Archibald, or Augustus III. Motherfucking Tim. Hmm, doesn't, doesn't seem like a royal name, does it? Eh. Tim and Jim and Tim and Tiffany. Tim's dad and mom, respectively. Not known for their creative naming skills, or anything really. They were quite the poor family, barely made to barely made do with what they had. Until the mother spawn struck and took Nonyo's family away from him. Don't you mean Tim's family? Whoops, uh, well, you know. Takes time to get to know the truth. Uh, uh, lies! You're just, you're just trying to fool! Uh, 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 your lies! My family is rich! You, they ruled the land you're stepping on! The reason they died was because of an evil king who betrayed us all! So I killed them to, to avenge my family! Does that not make sense? Sure it does. It's a pretty good story, if a smidge bit dramatic. You went so far to display the body of, a, of this king as proof. We did our homework too. We checked out the body's crap. Hastily made out of clay and some cheap paint. I'm genuinely surprised the frog didn't notice. Maybe they did. Maybe they were just in denial. But if Tim's family were a bunch of common folk, and there was never ever, ever, any evil king who wanted to get rid of them, why was there a dead body hung out for everyone to see? I must say the implications of this are very concerning. I, I didn't kill. I dead when I found him. Yep, it says it right here. That's some, that's some relief, at least. That said, you were the one who deliberately hung him, right? Mm, yes. I'm proud of you for being honest. But that doesn't change the past. You're no prince. You're just some nobody with a big imagination. That's your whole shtick right there. And now I don't know what, why we, you would do something like that. But you know what they'd say about liars. They've always got an even worse lie hidden underneath the boring one. You're not to be trusted. Uh, you can't prove that! Uh, you can't prove that that diary is mine! It has your handwriting all over it! Unless you're absolutely sure. Because I've got a pen. We can test this right here, right now. You're on the wrong side. I hope you know that for certain now. But we don't need to rush this. Uh, we don't? We leave you two alone. You, once you've made your peace, once you've fought things over, come find us. Sure, why not? I know you'll come through it soon enough. Soon-ish. Until then, oh and Tim, one last thing. If you harm you, I'll make sure you pay for it. Wow. Oh shit. What? Oh. Oh, what's up, Tori? Hello, could we review? 
What the fuck? Your family is gone. You didn't care much for their goneness. They were never good to you anyway. But from there on, all the pressure comes down to failing. To flailing. The world begins un hunting you down, hoping to save the frogs from extinction. But you hide from the world, unable to take it, moving from place to place, homeless and scared. You find me in my inn and you take advantage. Putting on a sad, pitiable face, you pull on my heartstrings. So I take you in for a month, at best. You began thinking of me as your surrogate mother. But your surrogate mother abandoned you at an orphanage. <laughs> and then that orphanage immediately abandoned you. Finally, you start feeling a shred of usefulness within yourself in this new world. An adventure awaits you. An adventure to kill your mother on top of someone else's. And your two new friends are questionable. They both have violence on their minds. One of them has been a liar all along. And they both will ditch you in the moment you fulfill your purpose. Just like I ditched you. Some adventure. Such a fragile little thing. This is the second time she's killed you. Why aren't you fighting back? It's okay to fight back if it's in self-defense, right? Yes. That's how it works. Kill or... She'll keep doing it over and over on purpose. To provoke you. She'll up... She's up to something. You don't know what, but she's up to something. So act while you still can. I might take you back in if you do. If you truly show me your usefulness. I'll allow you to call me mum. Shit! Oh, hello. Hey man, I'm Pluto, and I'm here to say, cheer your dang self up. You may not be a prince, but I mean, look at me, I'm apparently not a planet. It's the only thanks to my inability to process emotions that I've lived to with this lie. Plus, I take my silver linings where I can get them. For example, I... Dad? Pluto, you've gone and done it this time. What are you doing sneaking out of space? You've had all the astronomers worried sick. But, Dad, I... I don't want to hear it. Go back to your space room. Now. Ah, oh, I hate you. I hate all of you. Sorry about my son. He has, has he said anything to you? Yeah, just ignore him. Planets don't tend to be very good at life advice anyway. Especially since barely any of them contain life in the first place. Wait, is that a snake? <sighs> Colonel, I'm trying to sneak around, but I'm a chair! By the way, sorry for passing through your canal, so I didn't change anything, did I? Whoosh. Find one. The other side knows some stuff. Oh, I see. Wait. 
find two. Find three. The other sign is hitting it out of the park. No, wait, that's four. Find seven. Yeah, seven for sure. <laughs> The other side has gone mental. Please do not listen to it. Find six instead. Counting. Whatever happened at that orphanage? The gift, the gift. It changed my life like nothing before. I'll never forget it. And I'll make sure you won't forget it either. What? Welcome, hero from a distant land. It is an honor. Yes, you. Come on, who else would I be talking to? Haha. <laughs> I mean, you're the spitting image of a hero, I mean. Um, anyway, make yourself at home. I prepared this picnic to celebrate your arrival. I kind of had to make do with whatever I could find, so it's not much, but... I think this cake came out pretty good. Like, way better than I thought it would. Wanna try a bite? I promise it's not all that bad. You don't want any of it? Really? Right, I guess. I guess it's kind of weird to accept food from a stranger than you've just met, isn't it? Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm being weird. None of this is important right now. We should just talk about why you're here already. One world used to be pe used to peacefully coexist with the dead. I guess the best way to describe it is like spiritual realm. A place where only two types of people matter. The consciousness and the unconsciousness. The conscious, the conscious people being people who retain their ability to think for themselves like you and me. And the unconscious being just ghosts, basically. But even then, it's not like we conscious people are any more alive than the ghosts. We just got lucky enough to land in between the two states of mortality when we kicked the bucket. Still, as long as we clutch onto our shredded consciousness, as long as we kept... So we all felt safe in all of it, as long as we, as the unconscious, remained as peaceful as we were, we could convince ourselves that, into believing that we never died, that everything was going to be fine. But two weeks ago, it was all gone upside down. A flash of light, every unconscious being either vanished or turned into those things. It was a total disaster. Everyone I knew just watched them. I've been biding my time here, researching a way to deal with those monsters. Of those branches of research I led to you. You are born with a unique power to contact us with the spiritual form, to understand the spirit, to feel them, and hurt them. On the east end of the world lies a building lies powered by two of the most powerful spirits, the mothers we call them. And it is my hope, my wish, that you will be able to lend us your power in order to defeat them. Hold on, just hear me out. Everyone's given up hope that we can possibly possibly save this world, but not me. I still think there's a chance for you on our side. My side. If you buy it on my side, I strongly believe that we can overcome the odds. Huh? Where are you going? Wait, wait! Please don't go alone! Without my spell, you'll be slaughtered out there! What, what about this? We both have our own goals, so if you just help me defeat the spirit, I'll help... Three minutes tops. What? Six. Don't worry that one time. It's not mental anymore. You can trust this web again. But speaking of mental, are you okay?
seven. Oh, is it minus? Okay, so you have one, two, four, It's another Noel bit. Three <laughs> percent snake. <laughs> you know, I'm good. I'll deal with this later. Serious face on for this one. And let me tell you, it's rare to see Noelle put a serious face. Truth is, I think I was just trying to dig too deep. It's not that you view yourself as a high standard frog. It's about how people come down to prefer their content. Nice and brainless. Jingle bells. The gummy bear cover. From the 2012 movie The Yummy Gummy We Search for Santa. Please say yes. You, no you nods excitedly. Oh my god, seriously! Oh wait, I was just joking! I I was about to give you an actual good song and you just... You just... You're just a really big fan of 2008 videos for children, huh? So that tip of the goes out with me all the And we go back to a simpler time. A better time. A time where it feels like Christmas. It was all there ever was. Nothing else mattered but there one day where you opened a present and realized, despite what you wrote in your wish list, it 
parents still didn't get you a jet plane. As silly as it sounds, I can't deny that. I can't deny that. I can relate. Oh, right. We were talking about Gummy Bear. Right, so I can't relate to that. You, please. I've spent my entire, entire 50 hours of my life on this. And that's not in counting the breaks in between because there weren't any. Surely there's a better song we can find. Surely. Nunio, can you believe? Nunio? What? Oh! Yeah! You've been acting quieter than usual. Is everything okay? No, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, I forgive you. Thanks. You're welcome. All right. Wait. What's that? Like nothing happened. Time's up. And so is our patience. No more sitting around on the fence. Listen. With your powers unlocked, every person gets one wish. Why go out of your way to fight the mothers? When Tim could just use your power to... Use your power to make them peaceful again. Then Susie could use your power to revive the dead. And then I could use it to restore peace to the entire world. Problem being, we're both... We're all totally devoid of trust. The frog in particular. They believe I'm going to use... Misuse their powers. They believe that Susie is going to kill them. I would never! But most especially... They look at you, Tim. And they don't even know what to believe in. Are you really the hero who's sworn in to, to defeat the mothers? Nobody knows anymore. So, help us out here. If Nuno was, cra was a crazed, cruel, narcissistic prince, what the hell could Tim possibly be? Scarf is soaked in blood. That's why it's orange. Uh. Screw it. I'm sorry. You? I'm sorry I've taken things too far. I was never a prince. I'm certainly no tough guy. My attitude, my frets, my overconfidence, and the hung body you saw? It was all to make myself look more intimidating. Because I've convinced myself that I, if I wasn't scary enough, you, you wouldn't have come along. You would have just walked away. It happened before. I was too scared to let it happen again. Sorry. But the severity of our situation is real. The mothers will keep this... Ugh. Desecrating this world if nothing re if nothing remains until nothing remains then once they've had their fill here They'll move on to the next world and the one after that and I can't idly sit by letting such an atrocity happen You I truly want to see this world revitalized. I want to see its citizens at peace free of suffering I'm selfish as it may sound. I can't make it happen without you We may well 
we we may be well we may be very well be the ba 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 ba. Once we do, we could go down in history, remembered by many. You'll be able to continue the lineage of frogs. I'll become a king, set to rule this world in its for to its former glory. For every person who needlessly died, for my friends, my family, with our determination, we'll give them all peace. Back up, back up. Have we been through this? None of what you say can be trusted. You're not any better. With your constant attempts at swaying my partner, with your ever so eager proofs of best intentions, then actually do it! Instead of just following us around in your white van. <laughs> White? What? Uh... Fuck you, Lancer! And your vague bullshit! We don't need your stupid legend about frog genies! Me and you will defeat the mothers without it! And all the lies about me being tough, I'll turn them into reality! Huh. And how do you plan to do that, you optimism-riddled whack job? With my magic spell- what? Small. Yeah. <laughs> no, not this time, would it? Press X to make these. I just need to make <clears throat> Oh, gosh. able to catch uh <laughs> yeah this version of Lancer just has a shotgun
lady. And there we are. We made peace. Oh, you're going much harder. Oh, I got six hundred dollars. Puff. Please stop. Just looking at you is exhausting me more. Puff, puff. I'm fine. I think I've vented out everything I needed to anyway. Yeah, I... I think so, too. I'm not going to lie, Nyo Nyo. Huh? I thought you were all talk. But this... well... Facts are facts. You farly whooped our asses. Lancer, Susie, we've won this fight. Besides, we've run, won the right to stick to our decision. You have the option to walk away and forget about us, but I know that wouldn't be quite your style, so... Help a brother out? If we come back from this alive, I'll have all the time to look into this whole genie thing. Even though I've been slinging mud at you from the moment we've met? We could have always used a skilled mudslinger. <laughs> Negotiating a truce with your enemy. A fighting move that no sucker would ever get caught in doing using in tournaments. But, at the same time, it's rare to meet someone so driven by hope. <laughs> eh? Then, this means... Very well. For as long as the mothers continue to exist, I, Lancer, will swear to become your personal bodyguard. My one-pack abs and stunning average looks are yours to command. It'd be nice to if you'd like punch some stuff in a while. Amazing, the gang's back together. <laughs> what is she so excited about? I don't know, I hate it. Oh, a frog. <laughs> no, it's not clothing. It's a part of my skin. I can't take it off. Not about that. I want to ask about your wish. If you figures out how to grant one, what would you wish for? Uh, hmm. I won't judge. Nah, it's not that. I just, uh, haven't thought that far ahead yet. Oh, that's unusual. How come you were so hell on getting your wish? When you don't even know what you're in the map about? Believe me, there's plenty of reasons. The only problem is making the wish count. For each person, there's a million different things they could want. To nail it down to only three wishes, or in this case, just one, it means my wish will, indecis will decisively change from minute to minute. I mean, what if I regret it? What if I realize we could have wished for something better? This kind of stuff doesn't get decided on until the very end. Let me rephrase my previous question then. Hypothetically, if you absolutely had to make a wish right now, what would it be? Revive the Quizzer back to life. Quizzer? Oh, that quiz show AI from earlier. She's, uh, she's actually called Maddie. It was the first name I gave her. After that, I changed it a couple of times. But now that I think about it, God damn it, she must have really hated the other names. Names like Quizzer, The Host, Gunsmith. They suit a robot, sure. But if you glance over just how human she actually wanted to be, all she wanted was to live a normal life, and I... I really could have done th th sh all the shit better. We ever heard of your last conversation earlier. However, I'm not sure what she thought about you in the end. You did your best to make up for your past mistakes. You think Maddie would give you a second chance? Man, I don't know. But it's not like she needs to. With or without me, 
she should get to live again. There aren't many robots remaining. That's another factor. There's me, there was Maddie, and we forgot Susie. Oh, hi, I'm a part of this conversation now. Legit, it's been the only thing that's hitting me now. Susie's a rarity. I mean, I thought me and Maddie were the only robots left. To be honest, I wasn't always a robot. A word? I made the conversation. Not too long ago, second, seven months back. Mary was so supportive of it. I couldn't have done it without her. Mary? Who's Mary? Mary's Mary, of course. She's my sister. She's the thing making the bunny ears behind you. Hmm, on the other hand, if I had that wish, I could also populate the world with robots. Like how it used to be. Oh, and to see? First I want Maddie back, now I want all the robots. Deciding is hard to sell. Thinking more so. Especially with me. And even to this day, am I making bad decisions? Sometimes, I wonder if my one wish will be enough. It's a treat, Wilbur. So you were saying that you can grant one wish per person? Yeah, it said so in the, the prescription. prescription. In that case, I could use my wish to grant something for you. Then you'd have two whole wishes to choose from. You're not serious. Come on, no need to be that selfless. What about your parents? Don't you want to bring them back? It's true that I miss them, but I've already made my choice. And it'd be rude to back down now. Whether you like it or not, I'm giving you full custody of my wish. Gah, don't! Stop saying dumbass things! Seriously! Besides, even if you gave me your control of your wish, you just use it to bring your parents back anyway. Uh, how stubborn. Oh shit, almost forgot! Hey, that's... I mean, that's my diary! It is. My bad. I temporarily forgot that I stole your personal secrets. Catch! Yep, the passages are all still here! Ugh, even the embarrassing ones. Thanks! I really, honestly appreciate it. Yeah, yeah! You could at least shoot me out a little, you know? Huh. What are you hawing at? We're sharing stories. We're telling each other's secrets. Pain of old friends to My reputation as the coolest guy is gonna go down after this. I disagree! Being cool means braining disinterest over the simplest things. Then there's an alternative term for that. It's called being miserable. You can rebel against a lot of things, Lancer. But you can't rebel against your own? Don't say hard. Nah, I was gonna say gear, because you're like a robot, but... Gears are outdated technology. Robots have gone past that. We've got a whole lot... We've got a much more efficient power source these days. What's that? Hearts! Goddamn, she said it. She revealed the secret. Eh? That, that doesn't make much sense. I mean, if you've got hearts, doesn't that mean you're human? Doesn't that make you human? I wish. I'd rather be human than this purple dinosaur thing. Hearts don't immediately equal human, you know? But what if you had a human brain? There's the catch. We don't. And by that way, we never said it was a human heart. So what, we've been talking to like, a metal heart? Like one made out of the finest Led Zeppelins? Nope. I can pull it out of my body and show you if you want. As long as someone's capable of putting it back in. Now that's metal. Let's do it. Let's not. I don't mind either way. All right, all right. I get the message. I'll do it on myself. Here I go. Lancer! Gotcha, bitch! But it's funny when you're mad. Hmm. Crocs be quiet for a while. Everything all right over there? Yeah, man. Talk to us. They said Ribbit. Nice title drop. Oh, actually, it's a project title. The hell? Yeah, Ribbit is just a placeholder. They're planning to give the mod a different name later on. Huh? When will they get around to doing that? In the fucking sequel? About when Ri what about when Ribbit Chapter 2 comes out? That's Delta Room, but Ribbit's the full story. No chapters or cliffhangers involved. Hmm. Didn't know that. So, this is our only adventure then. It's kind of foreboding in a way. Don't you think so? Ugh, we're almost
almost done. <laughs> there it is. <gasps> the audio drone. This accursed building. The source of everything wrong and unjust. We call it the Lodge. Looks smaller in the exposition scene. This is what we've been working towards, everybody. The mothers are just inside there. You guys are ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Ah, shit! I'm not ready! I'm not ready! Engaging. Damn it! Lynch has been ghost napped! You should probably go and help him, probably. isn't it? Stand back, everyone. I've been saving them for some special cases like these. Omega Annihilation! Oh, crap. That was just the healing spell. Uh, anybody any got more TP on them? Well, it was nice knowing you all. Mate. Glad you're still with us. Well, us. It's just me in here. Susie seems to be missing and... How do we end up in here? Ghost hunting didn't suddenly become illegal, did it? Wait, no. This doesn't feel like any ordinary cell. Where? I think we're in... knee-deep kind of in... The lodge would have a room for a whole prison? But I mean, this place wasn't made out by living beings, you know? It just manifested itself one day. Not built, but born through warped and incomprehensible mind. Like, some kind. Grover House? I guess it makes sense for it to not make too much sense. You, take a look around. See if you can find something we can use. In the meantime, I'll be keeping an eye on this wall. Just in case it tries to pull a fast one. straight. It was a good thing my perception of time is escapes all hell. A bad feeling looks attached to the wall. It's still near placebo assembly. Let my people go. 
Seriously, let them go. This month's starting to get heavy. Is that a basketball hoop? <laughs> Never been happier to hear your deadpan voice. Oh, fuck, it's Grumbus. Who's Susie? Oh, fuck, it's the Lunsler. There's no point in playing dumb, Susie. Besides, we can recognize you by the voice. A voice does not make a whole person, future King Nuno. I don't even know if it's Nuno that I'm speaking to. What if you're just an alien hiding in Nuno's body? I don't even know what to tell you, Susie. But if you can see us right now, you know what the real deal. Look, I'm on my stick figure shaped knees. Please help us. Ugh, crikey. Sorry I've quieted down, I'm very- What? It's Mario chuffing a fat one. Oh, I see, I see! I can kind of see the relation between this and the monkey one. Why can that be as random as we fought, guys? I'm feeling it. Let's start writing these down. So we've got Kirby, monkey, and the fabled weed mario -y. So let's try putting these symbols in reverse this time. Or maybe the weed monkey goes first and the weed mario does a little- Susie? Yeah, are you done yet? Guess she's done. <laughs> You're probably wondering something like, what should I do? I have a couple of suggestions if you're alright with hearing me out. Don't let them out of that cell. Especially the one with the green hat. Can you believe his nerve? I'm going to become a king. He doesn't deserve a second chance in the world. You agree with me, right? I do. Answer. Yep, don't wear it out. These cells ain't shit. A couple of shoulder rams and it was all it took to get free. Looks like you didn't have any problem getting out either, huh? Yeah, so? 
What about you and Munoino? You seen them yet? No, not so far. I just came from the west side of the prison. Nobody was there. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? The east was clear, too. Looks like that just leaves the elevator I passed on my way here. Except, buttons some some of the lifts are out of commission. So I say we find another exit. There are none to the west. What about the vents? Structurally weak walls? Anything? There was nothing. Susie, come on. I'm fairly sure you haven't been that far, though. If you just let me squeeze past, I'm sure we can... Back off. I said there's nothing. I meant it. Guess we're just screwed then, huh? Ah, oh, dear. If only Dr. Alphys was here. Jetpack or some type of wacky explosive gun device? What did you just say? Okay, fine. I know they're called rocket launchers. I was just... No. Alphys. Who is Alphys? Alphys? Oh, well, uh... She created me. Or rather, this body. Let me tell you, she was something else. By far one of the most passionate people I've ever met. I mean, sure, you'd meet her and think, wow, she is one nervous wreck. But then behind it all is a genius. Someone who would change the world. Yet instead, she uses her talents to help little people. Someday... I really hope to repay your generosity, but until then... A bit too close, don't you think? How did it feel when she stripped your body of your soul? Took it for herself? Left you with a useless husk? What? What the hell are you babbling on about now? I knew there was a reason I followed you around. You always had her scent. What? Huh? Anybody associated with Alphys' experiments is a lost cause. You'll either become just like me, or let me help you. Is that right? I'm sorry to say this, but you're insane. I didn't want to do this, Susie. At least not like this. But I'd, but I'd be a liar if I said I wasn't looking forward. For a chance to unveil my true form. Sorry, Alphys. I know there's risks involved to win with activating. But you know... Nobody becomes a star without taking a chance. That feels so much better. I see you still got some tricks up your sleeve, Lancer. Huh, <laughs> Lancer? I'm offended. You're still going to use that name after such a transformation? Please, let's forget about Lancer and say hello to... To Meta! The ghost that inhabits this husk of a robot body! And the fabulous celebrity in the making. Wow. Really, Susie? You're going to defeat me with that dinky thing? You're right. How silly of me. Yow! It's showtime, baby!
All right, let's, okay. I'm gonna get through this fight. <clears throat> Commercial breaks over. I'm gonna get through this fight and then I'll, I'll call it quits because I am tired and hungry. Okay, we're making it. But I was the only one out of my mind. Am I supposed to die at this point? I have not seen the mod where the thing is in chapter 1. Maybe I'll give that a look. Cancelled before the pilots even aired? <laughs> now that's a twist I did not see coming. Well, well. I guess I wasn't good enough, huh? I could just easily, as easily blame this on you. But we all know the truth. If I really was the star this world needed, this never would have happened. Maddie, I am supposed to make you proud. Oh shit, he's dead. Wait, what? Is 
It's over? It's over? Oh, okay, is that what the 2.2 mod is? Okay, so like the 2.2 is like the proper release of the game. Well, shit. Um, yeah, that was funny. <laughs> to get to us? That's some fine work! Susie? Your eyes! You're going all red. Did something happen? Susie, please open the door. We can talk this through. Susie? Thank you! Hey, what happened? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary. My mind just froze up there for a second. It does that sometimes. Memory leak, slow bandwidth, you know how it is. Well, no, you don't. I'm the only robot here. Uh, oh, I see. Well, I was just gonna say... Don't say it. Don't say squat. I don't care. I don't care at all. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care at all. Well, we're free, right? Tired, but free. That confetti? Kudos for trying to liven up the jail, whoever you are. The fridge has been caught once again, back in the slammer. Just sworn to not run again. And it may even go early due to good behavior. Good behavior includes cooling things and working at a functional level. You came back. Allow me to introduce myself. Ross Burley. Fuck. I'm on life support. It's okay. This is just how I've always lived my life. I don't even hear the beeps anymore. If you're a frog who changes other people live, then I'm excited to see what you do. Yeah, sure. I think we just made another enemy. Should I, should I continue onwards, or, um, should I call it here? Because I've been doing this for a while, I'm tired, and I'm getting hungry. Make them 12, alright, wait. Yeah. Alright, um, yeah, we're gonna end it here today. So, Susie just, uh, killed Lancer. Uh, I might finish this in my own time, or you can look it up online. Uh, the internet exists.
goes on for quite a bit longer. The mod's almost over. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna flip a coin. I'm gonna flip a coin. Uh, heads for we keep going. Tails for we stop for the night. Okay. I got heads. Well, let's keep going. <laughs> Let's keep going. Talk. Talk? You're the chatty one, so do your thing and talk. About what? Anything. I can't stand this music. One more second of it and I'll... What? You don't like papyrus? Papayas? Okay, but, um... I don't really know what to talk about. A plan, a strategy, coordination. You can't just head into the lion's den without a clue. Isn't the beat the hell out of them plan enough? Like, what else is needed? Sorry, sorry, it's just... I always figured... The more I overthink a situation, the less likely I am meant to get through it. Up until late, that's kind of been my whole life in a nutshell. Aren't you the same guy that hung a corpse to sell a lie? I'd like to believe I'm not, but that depends on whether you'll give me a second chance. Second chance? You think even someone like me would get a second chance? You're still thinking about that dog, huh? The dog? Yes, the dog that I killed. You regret killing the dog? I think so. Then if you showed a sincere effort to change... Stop right there. This was pointless. Okay, then. Boy, this elevator never ends. Yeah! Except when it does! We're about to put an end to the world's worst enemy. Afterwards, I don't want to hear another word pointless again. Understood? Oh. You! End me! Destroy me already! I've been a bad Susie! Bad Susie shouldn't exist! How many times do I need to kill you, frog? Not that I want to. I really don't want to. But I will because I did and I'll do it again! I can't help it. They all just desire it. My late friend, they showed me something they shouldn't have. I've never felt happier. They gave me my sister back. I've never felt more miserable. We just want everyone to reunite with their loved ones. Is that so bad? Isn't that the lunacy? Don't you want me to go? Please! End me! Oh, she's gone. What the fuck? This is so fucked up. You, yes, that's my name. So that's how a real person handwrites. Interesting. <clears throat> the exit. Placeholder text one.
Fighting, you're not getting anything up any way. You got weapons for a reason, so use them. You saw in the same old yellow. Wedding on? Shall we begin the ceremony? No, 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 I could have sworn you. What? <sighs> Name the dress? She looks gorgeous. Are you asking us to marry a piece of cloth? Not asking. You already went so far to arrange all of this. It's your obligation now. Now come out with it. Which one of you free is the spouse? Oh! Please, we're not going to entertain this lunacy, right you? Susie. Very well, stand back! Stand back? What, what are you about to throw fists or something? That's not all I'm throwing. <laughs> we got pipe bombed? Dearly beloved, we are gathered here tonight for some matrimony, and perhaps a slice of pepperoni. All in the name of joining these two women together as one. I feel like I got dragged into my grandma's wedding. But like, I don't even know who she is, and I just want to go back home. Thank you, thank you. Your support is kind. Now then, Susie, do you take this woman to be your wife? Wait, wait, wait those aren't your... To love her, honor her, and to keep her in sickness and in health. There, I'm done rehearsing the theme slide. I'm going to do mine now. 
Oh, for Christ's sake! Very well. Susie, do you take this? Yes! And Madame in the dress? She objects! Oh? <laughs> yes! She changed her mind at the very last second. But I'm talking to it through her, whilst reaffirming my love. Never mind, now I just feel like I'm in role-playing Fred. We've come to an understanding, and forgave each other. In the end, with joyous tears in, their, in her eyes, she says, I do. Wonderful. Now she does the best man have the ring. Conveniently speaking, yes they do. They described one earlier, as if they knew this would happen. Well, what can I say? Fortune telling's another form of magic. No, not you. Then without further ado, with the power invested in me by the dark world, I now pronounce you wife and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Okay, that's as far as this is going. Excuse me, let's Can you explain what the earth is, what the heck is going on? No! Oh, I'm overjoyed. Another young couple has set off on a new chapter of life. It's a cookbook. Oh, cool. But Susie? What? Why? Why would you do that? I, I guess we killed Susie.
I know what this is. <laughs> Alright, I guess this is what we're doing. doing for the next couple of while until it works. thing we all know that this is the bit just do the bit <laughs> to just give my Z key a break. Uh, so anyway, how's your day going? Um, anything interesting happening? my entire day uh, has been documented on stream. I've been spamming Zed for... Tidal waves forevermore. Okay, let's get back to it. <laughs> Oh. 
Oh, we're playing Frogger now, are we? Oh, we're doing the Undyne fight now, are we? Kill Susie? What? Broke? Oh, I don't have... Mom's apparently somewhere in this lodge doing a terrible thing. Oh, am I talking to myself?
Okay. Just look up Jevil online. Sucked. Well, no worries. I'll find us a way. I mean, all we gotta do is... Um... All you need to do... Oh, man. Not now. After all this way, come on. Not now! Stand back. What did he mean by vessel? How were you able to open that gate? Susie, what? What the hell have you been keeping from us? Who are you? Were you? Have you been? You'll see. Susie! Wait, you. I'm having some serious second thoughts here. For all we know, she's leading us into a trap all along. We're not gonna just follow her, are we? What? Yeah, look, I'm not doing Jevil tonight. Just look it up. Hello? Are you real? We're for. We are for real. Yeah. Right. I'm sorry to doubt. This isn't the first time I've had the. I've heard these words. I get it. Things have been pretty hopeless for you guys. But don't worry. I've got these two. In any case, you're looking for a bona fide magic wielder. Magic. Wait, do you mean to tell me that power hasn't died out? There's no way it could. There'll always be people who can learn it. Well, if you really do wield it, that'd be... That'd be wonderful. Are you going to do, use it to make things better? That's the plan! But before all that, I think we should evacuate you first. There's no telling what will happen to the launch once we're done. Well, I'd like to go, but my leg, it's not doing so well. Shame I wasn't born with arms, or I could at least crawl on my way out of here. Ha 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 ha. What a bad joke that was. Um, no, no, was it? <laughs> eh, not quite. It's... It's not too much to ask. <laughs> Say no more. When... Or, or, yeah, or, or they can help too, I guess. Um... Oh. I wasn't touching anything. Uh. Go! Uh. Stop it, you! <laughs> fight, fight, fight! Uh. What is wrong with you two? Uh. Ever since we got here, you've acted nothing short of horrible! Now with Susie, I'm not surprised, but you? I thought you understood. I, I viewed you as a hero. What kind of hero starts swinging their sword around at innocence? I'm, I'm ashamed. I really hoped you were better than this. And yet you're the one who's make it, making us in, about to end our mother's lives. It's not the same thing, and you know it. They're not innocent. What if I care too much about my mom to kill her for the world's sake? Then, then... I'm sorry, but they're they're destroying. Never even agreed to help you. Huh? Have you ever considered anyone's opinion other than your own? Have you ever stopped for once to think about how we feel? Have you ever wondered how we feel if we escape, if we're scared, uncertain, or did you just plan to sacrifice our lives? No one's going, getting sacrificed. Where? Save your comfort. The truth is, this isn't about fear. 
We just don't care. We never did. From the moment we've met, the only what reason one of us bothered tagging along with you was because you threatened them into submission. Of course, now that we know that those things... Those are empty threats. Pray tell, what reason is there to keep following your lead? So we can selflessly crown you as king? So we can wish everybody back to life? Do you trust Lancer that much, even though he just ditched us? Like hell you do. You're still a selfish brat, Tim. You just got better at hiding it. You, please. Say something. Oh no. I can't choose differently. Everything's so screwed and that's not even the worst part. What's really awful? Everyone's telling me to let go for one thing. So, I don't know what to do anymore. But you're probably right. I would anyone want to save this wasteland. <laughs> nah. seen everything. Twisting pathways, treasure chests, ghostly creatures. You've seen them. You've looked at them. You've fought them. All of them. What's new and exciting is about to become routine. Tomorrow onward you'll make you'll wake up again. You'll traverse the same routes again. And you'll hear me say the, the words again someday. Vocabulary only has so many words. The worlds only have so many ways to go. Life lasts too long. Hey, I have a question. What do you think about me? Isn't there something in particular you'd like to express? Something honest? Changes the answers. Luckily, there were there were ways to escape routine. Usually, they start small, yet intimidating tasks. Just little things to help you escape your comfort zone. And then they escalate from there. This is a comedy Delta Rune mod. What? We're seeing the third fucking impact. to say. 
I've been talking to my mother for many months now, after all. At best, I can let her know about the weather. Rainy. I'll let you and your mom catch up. I'm sure you've got much to discuss after all these years. We don't have time to talk. We don't have time for anything anymore. This world's about to die anyway. I failed again, Mom. Reset us back to the start. want to think so. That's how I realized that the mothers weren't responsible for ruining the world. On the surface, yes, they are the culprits. Because they are the one who, sw who swung the, the hatchet. Just like how Susie swung one, with the phantom guiding her arm. Didn't I say this way back then? To destroy the world, the mothers united in a singular abomination. Well, clearly, they're not united here. We're looking at hallucinations. Real mothers, whatever they are, they're hiding away. The consciousness lets them pay attention if they care and they're threatened. So the unconscious is. Comedy Delta Rune mod! The mothers used to have a hug. Fucking hell!
Okay, what is the... What is the... Oh, piss. Oh, they're dead. going on. <laughs> The moon? From the start of the game? I'm so... I'm so lost.
This game has such a fucking tone problem, Jesus. Fucking Katamari Damasi? FC for? What's the second FT bar for?
Sorry I haven't been talking as much, uh, I am trying to win, and also, I don't know what the fuck's going on anymore! <laughs> um... Crikey. Okay, how many bloody wishes do I have to make? nearly over. Oh, okay. Wait, so they were on a floating island all along? Does that make sense to you? Meh. They were probably just kind of winging it at that point. How much food do you think is on there? Rock? I... What happened? I feel so sore, all of a sudden. Uh, uh, Fucking hell, I slept on the floor! Uh, Once more! Uh, uh, ah, Jesus, this hurts! Uh, Almost feels like I'm dying! Uh, because, of all, because of the headache. Uh, Wait a second! Uh, headache nothing? Uh, uh, we actually did it? Uh, oh, hey, the pixel's still there! The black pixel. Uh, uh, Holy shit, we actually did it! Uh, uh, huh. King Nyonyo, I have gathered the, the remaining survivors. K King? Me? Wait, more importantly, how'd you, how'd you even know my uh, name? Hmm? Is everything okay, my king? Anybody who wouldn't follow your name would be living under a rock. <laughs> it is nice. <laughs> 1978. You are a ruler and have been since G a long time. Since 1979. Uh, 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 that's crazy! I've never been... I mean, who made me king in the first place? Who... Regardless, I don't know if I can do this. I... 
I feel unprepared. I feel, I feel. What? I said, isn't this what you wanted? This is no time to panic. Collect yourself. Think back to why you came here in the first place. Oh no. No, wait, I'm gonna be copyright struck for this. Yes, my liege. Is that a head count? You're probably good at, like, not losing track of numbers. And having to restart the count 15 times in a row. It's what I was born for, my king. Oh, if you find a muscular looking guy, bring him to me. We've got an AI to repair. And you. I like you. Just need to say that. I like you too. Ah, and you. You over there. Have we met? Ha ha ha! Trueth, we forgot if those who help us most us. Uh huh. I am Rules God, thy ally in secret secretive. And it was under my cunning intellect here that we have got thou this far of. Yeah. Now see, this dreadful law gem that had myriads of puzzles, once of dastardly, deadly of puzzle, of impossible of to solve. Just before thy arrival, I turned them all office. Just like that of thou trip, how you say, smooth sailing in a no. Ah, oh, but nay, for gratitude, just doing my part, eh? Oh, uh, well, you seem qualified enough. I'll take it. Would you like to be the leader of the Royal Knights Army? Wait. No time to talk. Gear up. There's probably still some leftover ghosts roaming around. Somebody's got to handle them before they eat someone alive. Uh, <laughs> sure, verily. I shall adopt that post haste. Here I go, slave some vermin, and uh, not just run away! Very shortly after leaving off screen, Rolls broke, broke out into a full sprint. You got weirdly quiet out of nowhere. And, um, you, Susie! You guys can. What do you want to do? Near as, a... Near as I'm aware, we pose a danger to you and the rest of your folk. It shouldn't even be said. There's only one thing we can do. Okay, I mean, you say that, but... Does that seriously have to end that way? We're genuinely looking at the start of something new here. And I want you to be a part of that. But then I... Then I think of what you did, and... God damn it. I genuinely want to like you two. I mean, you've saved us. I really want to help you. But you've made it so hard. Why did you have to make it so hard? I think I saw an empty room to the east. You two won't be able to harm anybody inside there. So, whenever you're ready. <clears throat> All the ghost, ghost evasion, our king had a massive emphasis on tourism. To that end, he put me in charge of building... No, like the type of place to be able to find everything. The name of Blunt was not able to visit his star. Eh, maybe the king's just looking to profit off it. Who knows? I don't. Alright. <sighs> the end of ways. I'm good. Oh, do we have to fight Susie now? I'm sorry. Frog? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Kill Susie. Cool, good to know. Why do y'all sir why does everyone want me to kill Susie? What? I don't understand this. <laughs> ah, 
As long as it doesn't take too long. I watched Akira last night. It was pretty good. Uh, yeah, very, very interesting for its time. The animation was uh, spectacular. Susie's been gone since a time no one can recall. I'm her ghost, and it's my turn to disappear next. What? This fucking mod is called Ribbit! I know I get it's like, okay, I know I get it's a part of the joke that it gets like really weird and dark at the end. But like... It does not connect! It doesn't work! Like, how can you have like, oh we're fighting an eldritch god thing that's trying to destroy the world. And you put that right at the start, and at the start of the game you have a bit where Toriel uh, chucks you into the orphanage. Like... I mean, I admire all the work that went into it, like, I mean, genuinely, that, like, final boss is really interesting and really, like, fun as, like, an evil kind of entity, but... Like... It's good when it's funny, when it's doing anything else, it's fine. And like, doesn't work. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway. I am tired. I've got some carbonara in my fridge that I'm gonna microwave. Oh hey, that's other side. Remains uncertain, saves 31. How many endings are there in this game? Times Nonyo said fuck. Well, he said seven deaths, huh? I'm not. I'm good. Alright. Alright. It's been fun. It was interesting. It's not. It's unlike anything I've ever played before. It's a comedy mod that like turns insane. I'm not doing New Game Plus. I'll watch it online. Watch it online. <coughs> uh, um, so yeah, um, Delta and Memes uh, 17. Uh, th that might be coming out not soon, but I've got everything like set up for it. I just need to edit it all together. Still working on the Persona 5 video. And I don't know what else I'll make. Something good, maybe? I hope everyone enjoyed the stream. This has been genuinely fun. Um... I'm tired. I'm gonna have some... Uh, I'm gonna have some food. It's been great. This has been fun. Um... Hopefully, I'll play something soon. Um... Smash that like button. Subscribe. Give me your earthly possessions. Goodbye.